you what's going to be an attack. There's a way to avoid that attack, and it's if you press the R1 button, which is basically to kill to do that. Go. Hey guys, hello, hello. I'm uh, Cthulhu, and this is Sword Art Online Hollow Fragment. It's uh, oh. two PSP games and a Vita sh shaped trench coat. Uh, it is a it, it's a different storyline from the anime itself, and uh, we're gonna be doing the new game plus run today. Uh, Hello, I am a Sun. I am here to commentate on Cthulhu's run today. Um, the game itself is pretty simple to run. Uh, it's yeah, it doesn't really have a lot of hard text, but there is there are some things that allow for better skill expression uh, that I probably will not be doing because I'm not very good. Uh, <laughs> so the game, the timer starts uh, when I click no here, uh, and as we go through. Uh, it, it'll be a fun time, hopefully. Yep. Uh, Timer so... will end on the moment you uh, last hit Heathcliff when yeah. he is considered defeated. Uh, Should I'll I just say... do it? Uh, I can do it. Uh, Alright. Uh, we'll start in three, two, one, go. So, uh, in this game, there's two different ways to. Uh, switch your to, to make text and uh, skipping cutscenes go faster. So we just hold yep. both of them down, uh, and whichever one actually gets us through the fastest wins. Um, yep. I should do my equipment. Uh, at the start my of it, you're supposed check. to show off your equipment. I've got Hollow Fragment, Burning Haze, Avatar Plus 15, Shadow Legion Coat, Assassin's Cloak, Assassin's Shenti, Red Alert, Sleipner Ring, Resonant Ring, Umbra Legion Graves, and Versus Night Gloves. Um, yep. We don't really care that much about the equipment. We mostly want uh, the ones that are going to make us go the fastest. Yep. Um, this is... Which is, there's a couple of things that have movement speed, but the way that equipment works in this game is real weird. Yeah. So, first of all, we're going to go to the lore side of things. Most uh, fun if you're trying to play normally, but uh, the most annoying for us. The first uh, floor has the most uh, forced lore, and from the moment we get on to the later floors, it stops actually giving us cutscenes every single time. So for now, Cthulhu is uh, gonna go to the quest center and accept the quest. This quest is uh, needed to do the boss fight at the end of every floor. This uh, game covers the last 25 floors of uh, Sword Art Online. If you have watched the anime, you know it ends at floor 75. And this game covers floor 76 and uh, above. Um, so, every uh, boss fight requires you to find the layer of the boss, which is just the boss room. It uh, wants you to do a quest, and next to that, uh, Soul team needs to be on a certain strength. You also Your need to uh, kill a named monster generally. There's yep. usually one named monster per floor and one quest per floor that you need to do before you can even fight the boss. Yep. Soul team strength and most of the gathering quests are not going to be important in this run since this is a new game plus. But uh, some quests require killing, which might take a little while because monsters have to respawn. Especially on one floor in particular, uh, where there's only one instance of that monster that we need to kill five times. But we're gonna get back to that when we're gonna get back to that. <laughs> uh, you will know when you know. <laughs> there's also one instance of uh, me being able to one-shot myself in this run later on. Uh, let's hope that doesn't happen. Indeed, let's hope that doesn't happen. Uh, I, the first time I ran New Game, I didn't understand what was happening, because uh, I, I hadn't beaten the game casually before. <laughs> so I kept uh, I kept one-shotting myself, I didn't understand why, and it took me like an extra 20 minutes to get past that floor. Uh, that was great. I remember watching that. That, that was uh, interesting to see a struggle like that in the beginning. Uh, I understand it. 
So here he's just gonna help the player so that he can go on and to the next area. It's just uh, trying to hold him as long as possible. So I think I should go over the reasons why we took the katana for this sword instead of the infamous dual wielding. Well, katanas are considered to be faster, especially with sword skills than dual wielding. And since we can't get a lot of damage off with just the normal attacks, it is mostly handier to use uh, sword skills. Dual wielding has the disadvantage of having sword skills uh, which have a long uh, delay after the skills. So, we uh, opted to use Katana, which has almost no delay uh, for the sword skills, if you uh, look at it with the point of view of the dual wielding. This does lose a little bit of damage, but not enough to make a big difference in the run, because in the beginning of the run, Katana is so much better. Uh, that was weird. That's never happened to me before. There was a weird camera angle forced him back into the dungeon. Oh! What? I think it's because Rick's so fat. <laughs> there we go. Oh, now you're in the Yeah. That, that, yeah, that, was, that was a new thing. That's never happened to me before. <laughs> um, I think I might need to make Rick do some exercise. Slim down a little bit. Uh, but as it is, uh, Katana is faster up until a certain point. Um, we won't be switching to dual wield, though, because it's just it's slower than just continuing through with the dual wield, or with uh, Katana. Because we're not certainly, we're not certain at which point the dual wielding our giant Katana specifically. And for what we see right now, it's uh, too late to actually matter switching. Yeah. Uh, it's like the last two floors, I think, where it starts falling off. Um, yeah. But even then, it's it's not that much of a of a time loss. Uh, no. But we it, won't it's... be dashing a whole lot either, because uh, in some in some sort art online games, dashing is like very critical to the movement. But in this game, there's just such a long delay after the dash happens. That it's just faster to run with movement speed items on. The only uh, exception to this is uh, being slowed, but uh, that most likely is not going to happen because of the huge resistance we have because of the max level. Only in cases of being uh, slowed or cancelled from moving, which is also a status effect in this game, we will use dashes, if I say that correctly. Uh, yeah. I mean, we don't... Or if, like, uh, dashes let you go through... Uh, oh, door warning. Alright. So, uh, it's time uh, we're gonna mention the doors. In this game, uh, the only thing which is not involved by, uh, the music volume are doors. And, uh, the only way to mute doors is by muting the entire game. Well, instead of that, we... That we're gonna give a door warning sometimes when uh, Cthulhu is gonna go to a few doors after each other. So door warnings, and so can come over in the game in the run. And doors so are the I worst. I will mention them. <laughs> yeah, they are the worst. I hope I can mention them in time. If I do not, forgive me. Uh, yeah, the, the, it, we don't understand why they're the only thing that's not. Uh lowerable in the volume settings uh you'd think it would be sfx but no it's not uh and it just it just stays loud even when you're at the lowest settings for uh everything yep it only goes muted or really loud yeah that's the problem because this is the, the lowest settings for everything i've got every volume down to the lowest setting it can be at that's the problem i really had with uh some of the SEO games is that the volume at standard is uh, blessing your own ears off. So we're gonna go through some lore, cool and stuff. Most and uh, we're worth... gonna yeah, we're just gonna skip all the lore. Yeah, we're gonna skip all the lore. It's and just, now it, it's once, sad that uh, we skip all the lore because uh, the the game universe is actually way more interesting than the anime universe. 
And now we're gonna be introduced to our new favorite character, Frank. He's uh, literally gonna be the person who stands there when we can do the boss fight. So uh, uh, he's always yeah. there after floor one. Uh, he... Oh, he's there when you can fight. No, because he tells you like anything. No, he's always there. Because even when you like go to the new floor, he just he's just there and he tells you like what you need to do if you go up to. But we need him to start to fight. Yeah. We need him to start to fight. So it's our best friend Frank. Also, note that uh, Kifulu went one to the side to select Yuki instead of Asuna. Uh, it's uh, not huge. I'm lost, but it's... Uh... Honestly, I should have gone with Asuna here. I forgot this guy's weak to piercing. Yep. But it's it's well, not... Uh, it doesn't it's really weird. matter. We're going to be doing the lion's share of the damage anyway. Um, yep. It's more of an aesthetic thing. And it's, it's such a minimal time loss that it's not a huge deal. Yep. But, uh... Most boss fights, especially the early ones, are gonna be just like a normal enemy. Maybe take two, three sword skills, but uh, next to that, that's it. Uh, is this because of the. Ah, uh, oh, figures. Yep. Oh, arcane skill cut. Yep, his arcane skill got cancelled. The arcane skills are uh, one skill of every uh, possible combination, like sword dual wielding. Also, Katana have an arcane skill. Uh, this skill has a pretty long charge up, but does insane damage. But as we can see here, even though it didn't get pulled off, this isn't much of a time loss. And the first floor is defeated like this. That is cool, 24 more to go. <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, fine. I, I also named the character Rick. Uh, because Rick is the main character of SAO. That's true. He uh, made sure that Kiraito went out and touched some grass. Yeah. If you want to know more lore about it, Rick I will uh, leave that later to Ordizen. And now we will go to floor 77. And... Yep. Floor 77 out of uh, floor 100. So again, we're gonna get a little bit of floor. And uh, after that, uh, Kefulu is gonna accept uh, the quest again. Uh, this time which... it's in Pursuit of Sweetness, which is another fetch quest, so we already have the stuff for yep. it. Indeed. This is probably the slowest part of, it, of any floor. <laughs> it's because it's the menus take yeah. forever. <laughs> yep. Uh, other than that, it's... Uh, there are some floors, too, where... Um, where the, the named boss that you need to kill... Oh, he's not there. You're right. Where the named boss you need to kill is... Uh, that's timeless. I'm dumb. <laughs> the name boss you need to kill is off on <laughs> a side to, path yeah. that you need to go down. Uh, yep. I don't remember which floors those are, but it's cool. There are a few. Because it, it doesn't happen that often. There's like two or three out of the 25 floors. Yeah. Um, there are also some where you have to go into a specific area, but it, it's where you already go to a lot. Yeah. A lot of the time, the... the name boss will just be on the path to where you need to be going anyway. And we can uh, kill it quite easily. Because uh, it's it has two HP bars, unlike most other enemies, which only have one. But even though that, that's uh, not really a problem if we uh, can clear both HP bars within one sword skill. Yeah. Which normally we can, especially in the lower floors. Yep. Um, it's... it's... Okay. Like, easy. No problem. Yep. Dead. You're gonna kill the big slime here because that's the slime that triggers this event, which says thank you, and now you can just move on without killing the small ones. They follow you. You have your own little slime posse, but they're not a big problem. They just kind of exist. Yep. And they also do not prevent uh, us from interacting with any objects. Unlike, unlike in the, the hollow area. 
Yep, in the overall area, uh, every single enemy that appears uh, and is aggro to you prevents you from doing actions like opening doors, accessing teleport crystals, or anything like that. But yeah, we, we do not really care about the small enemies. We will be running yep. past most of them. Uh, yep. And even the ones like that we can't run past will... Like, if they crowd up in a hallway, because they do have collision with you, <clears throat> you can't get through them unless you dash. That'll be one of the few times we actually use the dash for anything, is if yep. there's uh, collision issues. Especially with the bigger enemies that appear on later floors, that yeah. can be a problem. Also, another fun thing about uh, sound in this game is that uh, the more enemies that you kill in a single sword skill, the louder the death animation uh, the crystals get. It's yeah, a fun thing which I uh, found out when just casually playing the game. And uh, it kind of killed my ears. Fun fact, do with it what you uh, must. Troll your friends with the doors and with the death animation of monsters. Please do not troll your friends with the doors. The doors have given me PTSD. That's true, it has given every one of us PTSD. Especially the first time that we played this. Alright, so uh, now we're in the forest. Give me one second, I forgot to do something. Yep. Map button. It doesn't help a whole lot because New Game Plus uh, still... Uh, wipes your, your map progress, but it helps enough to know where the exits are most of the time yep. uh, until because... you, you learn the floors, which it's obvious that I have not. <laughs> There's 25 what? floors and a lot of air, a lot of rooms in those floors. And That's true. most of them are maze-like, so it's kind of annoying to, to memorize everything. Yep. Well, again, it's, normally it's not a big uh, time loss by just opening your map, because you can still walk while having your map open. Yeah. And you can, you can the, set uh... the, uh, you can set the map to, like, a button that's not used. Uh, yeah, this is where, uh, the current, yeah. uh, named monster is. We don't get to see him on the map. Which is very annoying, yep. because he went the wrong way. <laughs> it's okay. I wasn't sure to have myself, but... Yeah. This is a smaller area, so it's not like a huge issue. Yep. Uh, I think this is the right place. Bye. That way. No, 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 no. Uh, uh, nope, yep. Uh, it, it was the way you looked at. I was like, is it that way? Yep. Is it the other way? <laughs> and a lot of these areas look mostly the same as that way. Um, like, if you get into a cave, it's mostly going to look like this. Yep, only at the uh, last uh, floor it's going to look different, including the dungeons. Dungeons are a um, pretty ugly type of uh, stone until the last uh, few dungeons, where it becomes ruby. Which, uh, you're walking yeah, the wrong way again. I was hoping there was a shortcut back. Nope. Nope. Freaking balls. That's the main problem with having the map up, is you can't change the transparency of it. No. That's uh, the only disadvantage you get from opening it. If you're good enough, uh, you can kind of make your way through. But the terrain uh, geometry in this game is not the greatest. You will sometimes get caught on nothing that is right next to something. Yep, that's true. Uh, but... Otherwise, it's fine. Um... Oh, uh, so another thing about this game is that no matter how fast you are running, the enemies will always be slightly faster. Yep. Uh, they scale with your movement speed. So, so uh, if you see running goblins at the speed of lightning, it's uh, Cthulhu's fault yeah, for it's... being too fast. It's because I'm I'm fast. It's uh... because you're too fast for the game. Yeah. 
and once you uh, and if they hit you, like they slow you down by a very small amount. Yeah, just just it's just a uh, right swing uh, hit. Oh, this is one of the ones where you have to go all the way around. Yeah. Again, this is, uh, by opening the door, it's, uh, really nice. Even if they are aggro, you can still open doors, unlike yeah. in the hollow area. The whole because other now... half of this game. Yep. Because now, uh, Cthulhu doesn't have to. Um, uh, doesn't have to, uh, just defeat all the red slimes that aggro on him. Slime he tries to open one. That's that's the wrong way. Yep. I need something to open the door, so I'm pretty sure this is the right way. Is it? Nope, it is not. No. I think that door is a uh, switch that you need to open from the other side. Uh, you might be right. If you, yeah, I go here. A lot of these floors are mostly the same. Um, no, you're even going too far. Oh. Am I? Oh, yeah. Yep. Sorry, I'm fine. Worries. It's fine. No, no worries. It's all fine. Our all right, so mistakes here we are have about to, to happen. Most floor again. Of course, yeah, yeah. So here we have the second floor boss. It's um, at the end of this uh, hallway. It will I, I always be like this, by the way. It's always yeah, a only... long hallway that he's like, Oh man, I wonder if the boss is here when it looks exactly the same. <laughs> yep. Alright. So again, lore yes. with Silica, no. we don't care. And now we can go with Frank again. Yes. Our great friend Frank. Alright. Frank and Yunus. So, just like last time, we're gonna switch to Yuki to uh, fight the boss. And hopefully this time get the Arcana skill off before uh, it gets cancelled by the boss. Yeah. Uh, the problem with using the Arcana skill is uh, when you first attack a boss, every boss has a secondary breakable objective that stops a couple of their skills. Um, yep. And that's what immediately gets targeted by... Uh, Rick ASF uh, when you start the fight. So you want to use a skill to break that first and then use your arcana skill or you're going to waste a lot of damage. Yep. Uh, normally I, I try to use a uh, an AoE skill to because break it. Because that also hurts the boss. Yeah. So like here I think it's the stinger that gets targeted first. Not the like. Not like. And normally we block here, but he gets stunned by uh, Yuki. I'm gonna wait a second to try and. Uh... Yep. There we go. I should be able to get in here. Yep, Yuki getting the stun. And uh, let's see his HP bar drop now my entire bar. And, and I didn't get the last one, there, but it's fine. Doesn't matter. Aaron, Aaron, got, Aaron it. got the last hit. Some nobody yeah. not named Rick. Yep. That's truly sad. Well. Again, we're gonna get through some lore. Yay. The event side tap. And more lore. More lore. <laughs> it, this is after every floor, almost. You're gonna get, like... Two or three, Some uh, more. two or three cutscenes cut that you have to skip through, but it's not a huge deal. The cutscenes are very quick. Yep. Uh, that is not quick though, so I'm gonna dodge that because that. Wait, where? Oh, I passed him. <laughs> Sorry about that, uh, Kirby. Kirby NPC. Dragon Kirby Hunting Grounds is the next one. This is our first quest where we have to kill X amount of monster. So when we come back from finding the boss room. We will have killed those, most likely. Um, yep. And it's, then uh, we will be able to turn it in right away. Yep. Yeah, sometimes you get ganked on your way out and you have to do other things. 
like, kill death hornets with silica. Small time loss, not really a problem. It's not really a time, I mean, you can't do anything about it. You can't not do it, is the issue. You can normal attack there, but it's fine. Teleport okay, let's go, next floor. I was trying to kill more than one at a time. Alright, so for this one, the wyverns spawn right here immediately. Yeah. There's not enough to kill them in one go round. Like in invisible walls. So either you wait them for them to respawn or we're first gonna go to the lost dungeon, but I think we're gonna go for the first one. We wait for them to respawn. Yeah. It doesn't take that long for them to respawn. Nope. Uh, by the time I'm finished killing uh, all the ones that are here, the other ones on this side that I just killed should have respawned. So... Oh, dang, he wasn't in range. Nice. The camera in this game is... Well, very you? sensitive. And now we just, just we, we killed this orc who approached me for no reason. <laughs> he is the orc that is approaching. Well, uh, how do I do? Uh, I can't remember how to do uh, the uh, like the emotes. Okay. Uh. Okay. All right. We only need one more after this. And it spawns behind you. And it should it's be gonna right spawn here. right there. Uh, the one thing we don't really understand about this game is how, uh, respawns work. Because it seems to be it's, different on every floor. I don't need to go to the It's, way. uh, it's, uh, based on uh, IRL time, as far as we know, because if you go back to the town, then sleep, and then come back here, it's still most of the time not, uh, spawned in again. Yeah. Uh, Flesh which is bang, really annoying. Flashbang. Which is really annoying for the uh, the one floor where the enemy, there's only one of them, I didn't need to do that. Where there's only one of them. It happens. Yeah. And you have to kill it five times. Because uh, it's the slowest respawning thing on that floor. Oh, there's more wyverns here. I could have just come. Oh, well. I have to go here first. Yep. To activate the quest. Uh, in this case, this is the named monster we have to kill, and it's literally in our way, and we have to kill it to continue onward. Yep, but it's invincible at the start. Yeah, you need to go on a small quest to get the ability to kill it. Because Rick yep. is not yet powerful enough. He needs more plot armor. He needs to have the fastest reflexes in all of the game. So just, we go in just here. Like Kirito. And we're gonna be next to the blacksmith for some reason. There is a blacksmith here, which can create us a sword. He's just chilling for some reason. Yep, which can create us a sword that can kill the dragon. Uh, we don't have to equip the sword, it's just, just gonna be like a key item, yeah, quest it's... item. So uh, it's we don't have to equip have to it. Worry about equipping. It's, yeah, it's just a, an item that. Uh, he activates, and then it turns off the invincibility. Yep. Aha! I was right! You were correct there. Oh, uh, I got stunned. Ah, <laughs> uh, no worries. Uh, stunned isn't nearly as big a time loss as paralyzed is. Paralyzed prevents you from uh, doing anything once it hits half its timer. Yeah, uh, it, it gives you half its timer in time to get rid of it, or it just makes you stop doing anything for uh, the next couple seconds. It's actually more than a couple seconds. It's half. Like, I think it's yeah. like 15 seconds or something like that. Yeah, it's a pretty long time, which might get annoying at the last uh, few floor bosses. Because our... We actually kind of nuke our resistances with a couple of our items. Yep. Um, the Assassin Cloak, in specific, nukes, like, 
all of the debuff resistances. Except for slowness. Yeah. Dead. Uh, I don't think there's anything that can slow you in Ironcrad. I think it's only the hollow area that has the slow debuff. I, I uh, thought there were a few. Up. Okay, just making sure I was going the right way. It kind of puts you in a weird spot there. Uh, there are a few specific enemies that can indeed slow you or just uh, can slow your movement, even in uh, Ingrid. But those are very rare. I don't think we really mess with many of them. I don't think so. I think there are enemies we can skip. If I remember correctly, it's just, yeah. Yeah, it's the last one. Also, I love the fact that the golems can just, uh... I, I like that they just, like, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle at you at the speed of sound. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's great. Like, the, the fact that I'm moving this fast... The regular movement speed in this game is atrociously slow. Uh, um, the fact that I'm moving so fast, it makes them have to use their, like use their slow animations really fast for movement, and it just causes yep. some hilarity. And that's uh, with every enemy in the, the game. Except for the bosses and the oh. new monsters, if I'm correct. I forgot, to, I forgot to hit the button. I, I'm, I have my own uh, timer up, and I forgot to split. Oh, whatever. Yeah, it's not a huge deal. That's such a time lag. <laughs> it's it just wrecks my uh, my current yeah. thing. It's whatever. Not a huge deal. Ah, I think you're doing fine. We're currently on pace. Yeah. So it's it's not it's not big. Oh, I have to turn in the quest. Indeed. Menuing in this already... game is not the best. Nope. It's really slow. Especially on keyboard and mouse. Um, it's a specific thing in this game where it's actually more handy. Especially for any percent, it's uh, better to actually play this game with a controller than mouse and keyboard. Yeah, the mouse and keyboard controls are kind of finicky, especially with uh, sword skills. That's true. Also, the fact that once you have your menu Whoops. up... I went yep. too far there, oh well. You're going with Klein now. Or you're going with Captain Useless. Nah, nah, it's Klein, it's Klein, he's not useless. I'm taller than Klein, that makes him useless, he's the tallest character in the, in the show. I thought Aegil was that. Well, you can't team up with Aegil. That's true. He's too busy running his, uh, inn. Yep, his new seconds. inn. This is the first of many Minotaurs we will be fighting <laughs> as bosses. Most of the bosses, they have like a set amount of uh, bosses, which is not equal to 25. And they just uh, reuse it, a little reskin over it. And... Alright, with the parry up, he should be able to get 10 and off just before he eats. Boy, we got lucky with a miss from the boss there. And there goes his entire HP bar, actually. That, that's how boss fights go this early on, if we're lucky. But I gotta mention, we got lucky that the boss missed here. Oh yeah, no. That, uh, uh, 100%. That ended horribly. Uh, but that's... That's the benefit of having maxed out uh, evasion. Because the way that that's defenses cool. work in this game, is if you have a shield equipped, then uh, block becomes your defensive ability. Um, instead of evasion. Instead of evasion. But if you use any of the weapons that cannot use a shield, or you just decide to not use a shield in one sword, like Kirito did for most of the actual anime, uh, evasion is your primary, um, your primary yep. defensive. Uh, unforgivable, unforgivable, yeah. unforgivable melody. Yep. The first one. Another one where we kill enemies. And I think this one, there actually are only in the one area. Yep, they are only in the first area, and... I think, if I remember correctly, I have 
to do this in two, in two or three cycles again. Uh, it's two. Two? All right. Because it's eight, and I think there are five. Well, actually, uh, it'll be faster if we kill the the five that are here already. Then, uh... or there's only three. We might actually. Be no. Yeah, this is three cycles. Uh, we'll kill the ones that are here already. I probably should. Then go to the boss. There. I think. Uh, I think the and, best. And then we'll go to the. We'll do the boss, and then we'll come back. Yep. Yeah, I thought so. This was three cycles. All right, this is the water puzzle. There's a couple of these. Yeah, Kiriko can't yep. or uh, Rick can't swim. Yep, indeed. One of his uh, weaknesses. He's an old uh, GTA character. He dies as soon as his feet touch water. Yep. We don't have to do any oh. side stuff in this area, so. Nope. You can just go through, and the special enemy is literally there for the grabbing. Didn't even target him, he's dead. Later. Nope. If that seems weird, it is. Uh, this was just the most random encounter that there was. Uh, I mean, there's a couple of, like, weird ones. I, I mean, with this one, it's, like, so obvious that actually after this door should be the enemy. I mean... Yeah. Um, After this door should have actually been him, but uh, they just decided that it wasn't going to happen. I, I and think they it's, just put him in front. I think it's funny uh, that, um, like, every time you, like, you will know that the named monster you have to kill for the information is where, in the area you're in, because it will always give you uh, a warning that, I, that yeah, a strong, strong monster dwells nearby. Uh, yeah. So, like, if you see that, it's like, oh, I gotta go kill something here important. And then it'll always have, like, an aura around it that you need to, to watch out for. Um, I need... This game is, is not a difficult one. It's mostly memory and movement. Uh, there are some things you can do that might increase, like, that might make you uh, kill things slightly faster. Uh, there's a, a skill link system that's kind of tough to get your head around when you're first starting out. Yep, it's the same sort of skill chain system as exists in multiple of the uh, other games. Yeah, uh, I think in this, I think this is the hardest version of it though, because yep. the uh, the time, the timing is just so uh, tight and we, perfect. Yeah. Like I can get like a three sword skill chain sometimes. But I generally don't bother because I most of the time I just get knocked out of it anyway. Yeah, and also the thing is you have to uh, pre-record the sword skill chain in the holo area. Uh, no, area all, all that does is make it make the uh, make it slightly easier to do. You can I just chain it. any sword skill to any sword skill. That's, that's how good I am in chaining the sword skills because I did not know that. Uh, once we get I to like always... the boss, I can try and show you. That shouldn't be a big time loss. Yeah. But, um, uh, it, it might actually save a little bit of time. Yeah, because it uh, destroys delay. I think the only uh, things you were not allowed to do is uh, into the three special skills. Which are the strong, strongest three skills of the three. You're not allowed to use a sword skill chain after that skill. Uh, I think yeah, they don't, they don't have an actual um, they don't point have where the, you can chain. You, can them. you also can't do it with uh, arcane skills, but you can chain into an arcane skill. That's true. Uh, which, chaining into an arcane skill would technically be the best uh, thing to do, because... Yep. Uh, it gets rid of the, the, like, really slow delay that builds up into it. And removes the uh, the chance that you might get hit and knocked out of it. Um, but I it's it's such a pain unless you, you know the timings well enough. And considering I haven't really used katanas all that much, I don't really know the timings that well. Indeed. I have the same problem. I, um, I like, the run for this has been dual swords since the beginning. Uh, 
And only since like a month ago, I would say. Uh, and even then, I not very good at chaining dual sword skills together either, because their yeah. timings are like really weird and awkward. Yep, and um, we switched to uh, katana to try out if it might be uh, more effective. Since like uh, I went the wrong way again. You gotta go back. You gotta go back. To, oh yeah, uh... you're right. I have to go kill. Uh... <laughs> All right. No worries. What I should have done, I actually messed up there, is I should have crystalled back to the town entrance, and then just gone back out. From yeah. the boss lair, I should have stayed and crystalled back. Well, this is fine. Yeah. The estimate's, like, way above what we're actually going to end up being at, so... Alright. I need one more... And then wait for the respawn again. Yeah. It's have a little longer respawn time, but it's still not uh, really... Uh... I'm gonna see if, uh... Because I have, like, a theory that if you kill everything in the area, the respawn timer speeds up. But I'm not sure. Wednesday, so I don't it, know. it might just be that you took the time to kill everything in the area, so it feels like it's shorter. But yeah. we're not sure. Now we leave. We're done. Now yep. we turn it in, we it and anymore. we go fight the boss. Indeed. So put the arts up here. Yes. Yo. Kirby's hair should have been pink. Agreed. But he's an NPC, so I know. Alright, this is a Reaper enemy. If I saw that correct from the split second that you were on the page. Uh, I believe he's one of the Reaper enemies, yeah. Yeah. So again, we're just gonna use a skill to destroy a weapon part, or the cloak, I don't know which one it aggro's on first. And then just use the arcana skill to uh, eliminate the reaper. Oh, it's a tree! Oh! Oh! The reaper. boss order was also different from the Vita version for some reason. When they did Rehollow Fragment, they changed the boss order. They did? Yeah. Oh yeah. I remember, yeah. It's it's I didn't I don't understand why, but they did it. Uh, uh you fight all the bosses anyways. You immediately aggroed. Oh, that's the wrong one. Yep, that is not your kind of skill. Don't hit me! Don't hit me! Don't hit me! Woo! Oh, he missed and. Hoggers. comes in for the clutch once again. The clutch with max evasion. Well. Rick ASF is the best. That's true. He's so fat, but nope, he keeps getting missed. It's hard to miss <laughs> such a large target, but it happens. Maybe he's so fat that he's just unable to get hit. It just bounces off of him. Yeah. No damage. <laughs> right, so to 480. Uh, we need to grab the Little Lady's Secret as our quest. That's true. Which I think it's a fetch quest, so we might just turn it in right Yo. away. I think it is. Yep. Yep. Viscous Mucus. Don't know why she wants it, don't care. It's a little bit sus, I'll be, I'll be honest. It's for a secret. But that's the quest done, we don't have to worry about that. Now we just have to kill the named monster and we can and find the boss layer. Yep. 
Yeah, I think oh. the named monster is... You went to the hollow area. It ate my down input. <laughs> Oops. So this is the hollow area, the other part of uh, the game. It's uh, fun, has a fun story. My uh, opinion. One I have not beaten. <laughs> I've not done the hollow area yet. I might do a, uh, a hollow area new game run at some point. I'd have to watch uh, your run on that though. Yeah. It's uh, like the only thing that I did correctly because I learned how to do it <laughs> by just watching multiple playthroughs of the whole area. I was like, now I can run it. And I still did not create. But whatever. And there comes somebody running out asking for our hero, Rick's this, help. This girl needs some movement speed items. Damn, she is slow. Indeed. Oh. Maybe we... Oh, look, here the collisions of the two skeletons uh, prevented Cthulhu from running through, so he dashed through them. And here is a big skeleton, which is... Oh, is this the one I think it is? Up. It is the one I think it is. Yep. Alright, I hate this one. This is the one where I have to find the key every time. Yep. It's pretty easy. Yeah, but I'm it dumb was... and my memory is bad. Yeah, uh, you're. F I think you're forced in a conversation with a player every single time yeah, that you. Uh, I went right here. Yeah. I yeah. There's like a player every time, but like. That's. I don't think it's on the first one, but next to that. Nope. Nope. Up, and I guess. It's my best guess. Yeah. I I can never remember. Nope. Hmm. Is it, it, it? Watch. It's just gonna be one of the middle ones. It's one. gonna be the last one that we check. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be the last one I check, guarantee. Ah, nope, there we go. Not yet. Oh, one to the last. Uh... Yeah, it's I rem big. yeah, it's there's a lot of th like small things you have to remember. Uh, All right, my memory sucks. Out, so. From here on out, you get into conversation with a player before getting the. Choice, if I'm correct. Uh, there's no player here. I think it's I think it's this one over here. I, I think it's the one that I tried last time in this. One. Nope, I'm wrong. Okay. <laughs> and I don't see a single player in That's any of really these weird. cages. Yeah. Need that item was sent to trash. Indeed. That's really odd. Oh, there we go. I was right. It was just the wrong side. Ah, uh, yeah. It says then is... not a floor with players. That could also be it. Yeah, it might be a different floor with the players. Yeah. That's like the annoying part with this game is that all the dungeons look so alike that um, if you try to remember most of them or all of them, you're just gonna. Did he need that? Oh, money! We need money. I was right the first time. I shouldn't have double. No, you need to go to the side because there is a no, no, no to the back and then to the side because there is a. Oh yeah, there's a side over here. You're no, right. not not there back. What? Back to the slimes. <laughs> And then to the right again. Oh! There's a okay. switch there. <laughs> Can you tell how dumb right. I am yet, chat? <laughs> You're going back to the Reapers, not to the door. <laughs> uh, no worries, no worries. I've been so like worried um, and practicing about the end part of the game that I haven't been practicing I, the early I parts. Think it's, yeah, here again. All right, now you know you were in books, so I guess there was yeah. The key. I think this is like so, the only one that actually changes like midway too, where it's like keys on the first floor and then uh, switches. 
Most of them, yeah. it stays throughout the entire. Also, we know we're going the right way by uh, just getting the lore. And yeah, here is the uh, dragon. A dragon zombie. Dragon zombies aren't really a problem, it's more their hitboxes which are prone to us. Yeah, there, there is a very big problem with uh, trying to remember what's on every single floor, especially with uh, dungeon layout. It's uh, almost impossible. I, I love to see somebody try and do it correctly. Because, I uh, mean, I'm I sure there are some it. people that could do it. Like, I, there's probably a lot of people who could do it. I just have a terrible memory. <laughs> uh, for me, it's more the part that's... Uh, oh, and they all look very group. similar. Like... Yeah. That's my problem. The yeah. only the only floors that really look different are like the last two. Uh our last few. I think it's more than two because then the ruby. Yeah. The ruby is floor ninety nine. Only floor ninety nine. I think it's also floor ninety eight. You're right. Uh, it might be floor ninety eight, floor ninety nine. But I know there's the ruby. Or no, you're right. It's floor ninety eight, and then floor ninety nine is the boss rush. Yeah. And then once we're done the, uh... And then once we're done the boss rush, it's, uh... And once we're done the boss rush, it's just, uh, the last couple bosses that we're done. Yep. And then we... So, uh... Right, now let's slap people. Yep. At that, uh... At that time, we will be finally done. But, uh, it's not close. Not close to there yet. Oh. Didn't mean to do that, but now you're. Yeah, when you're when you're coming. exiting out of uh, the map, if you're close to an enemy, it will just attack the enemy. And at that point, it's most likely just faster to uh, to kill them all off instead of fucking uh, out of combat. Because once there are a bunch of them, they start pushing each other to be faster, and uh, then they hit you and slow you down. Yep. But if you're not in combat, that is not the biggest of problems, but if you are in combat already, you might as well kill them off. Yeah. Alright, but this is the end of this floor, so the only thing against us now is the floor boss. I should look up what the floor boss names are so that I can make an awesome introduction for them to be sweeped within 20 seconds. Your introduction will take longer than it will take me to kill them, generally. That's true. Alright, let me see if I can get a glimpse of your name, so that I can make something awesome with it. My original splits were, there were a lot more of them, because it was the floor and then the boss name, uh, for like, yeah. new game. Uh, but I was going yeah, off of the, the Vita, I was going off the Vita one, so yep. like, the bosses were wrong. <laughs> Alright, let me see the glimpse of the name. Oh, uh, it's... Guilty Scythe is the first, uh... Guilty Scythe. Alright, here we go. Uh, I'll, I'll do it once he has uh, selected Yuki to go with him. Uh... Also, some of you might be might be asking, uh, why is Yuki here? And why are Sinon and Leafa here? <laughs> uh, yeah. So, uh, let me, uh, once the Cthulhu starts the boss fight, let me explain the game first to you guys. But first, we're gonna have to destroy your all solo players. The end of the beginning, and uh, the game ender who can teleport. Oh, I forgot he owed my washing day, Rizio. <laughs> Alright, so uh, while Cthulhu sweeps through this boss fight, just like the other ones, let me explain how the game first works. So, um, this a game and every single other SEO game in the mainline series, which is just not the mobile games, follow a game line separate from the universe of the anime. The anime universe, uh, for instance, stops at floor 75 if you watch the anime. If you didn't watch it and I gave you spoilers, I'm very sorry for that. 
But uh, uh, in this game, you uh, go on until floor 100 and actually end the game. But on the moment floor 75 was completed, you still fight Heathcliff, and uh, the game bugs out, and that's the reason why you do not win that fight. So after the game bugs out, a lot of uh, random things start happening. The first and uh, most uh, notable one is that you cannot teleport to floor 75 or below. And uh, the second one is that it um, got players from both uh, ALO and uh, also GGO. And those are Leafa and Sina. Uh, on, on, in some cases, uh, Leafa actually came here on purpose. Yep. Uh, because she wanted to find her brother. Um, in other cases, like Sinon, she actually just gets uh, teleported in here. Teleported in here by accident. Same with uh, Yuki. You don't actually unlock Yuki until you get the true ending of the game. Um, yep. And I don't think Yuki has an uh, event, so Yuki is more as a character just because why not add Yuki? Yeah. Uh, what's really uh, interesting is that Sinon is the only character that can use a bow, but she never does. <laughs> she always seems to use her dagger. Again, here we're gonna just kill the scorpions. I think we can do it in two cycles, so we can just... Yeah, we can do it in two cycles, so we can just as well stay here and wait for them to respawn. In this case. Uh, no, I've got a better idea. Uh, right. We're gonna go for it, and then we're just gonna, uh, stone back after we've yep. eaten a couple of these, uh, dungeons. Because we have to do, I think, like, four dungeon two. areas in this. In this one uh, to unlock. Two. No, it's four. I think three. Four? It's four, uh, yeah. Because right. it's this one over here. And then there's another one across the way from this one, and then there's two on the other side of the lake. Alright. But, uh, speaking of Yuki, uh, she is a monster of a lost boss fight in the game. Uh, you play du Yuki in the dual mode, which is explained uh, very correctly in the anime. But once your HP reaches half or uh, lower, you just lose. Or if somebody gets a critical hit, the other player also loses. So, uh, then there becomes a problem. Uh, Yuki does know Mother's Rosario, which is her signature move, and she is the only one that can actually use that move. And it is 99% of the time, I've only seen it once that it was not one, it's 99% of the time it's a crit. So if she gets that off on you, you just lost against Yuki. Which is uh, rather annoying, because uh, an achievement requires you to uh, defeat Yuki. I don't think you need to defeat Yuki to uh, unlock her. I'm not sure about that. I think you do need to defeat her to unlock her. Well, alright, uh, that's... It my targeted notice. the wrong thing. Happens. You can still one shot with another skill. Yeah, it just wasn't the AoE skill that I was. Uh... Bruce close by the duel. Uh, you can just walk back. It's not that big of a now. Yeah, no, I was gonna just go uh, kill the. Yeah, you can just the... walk back through the scorpions. Is that a huge time loss? No. Considering we're saving time by just not standing there and waiting. That's true. That's right here. And we only need to kill two? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, no, a little more, because you got 6 out of 10, so 4. My math was uh, a little bad there for a second. So was mine, that's okay, my math is always bad. 
Yeah, mine just uh, stopped working for a second. Because it, it, it's at 6 out of 10, how much is that remaining? 4. Yeah, I, I just couldn't get to 4. Small spiders. Ignore they look scary, them. they are not. We ignore spiders here. We don't care, uh, you still got it over here. You gotta choose the correct one? Nope. It's gonna be the last one. Yep. Should've picked the middle one. Yep. That he twice you uh, exit combat for. But it's fine. Not really a big problem. The big problem is me. I am nah, the nah. large problem. <laughs> the large problem. If you hear uh, weird uh, sounds, that's me drinking my water. Here's an example of the weird sound. I love it. By the way, the big uh, tree in the middle is actually not the named monster that we need to kill. We it already is... killed the named monster we needed to kill. Yeah. It was in, uh, which, which way is it? Which one is it? I can't remember. It was in one of the side dungeons. I but think it's this one. A... I think it's this one. Nope, that's Mimic. It's must... That's Mimic. But that is where the key was. That's true. I just picked the wrong one. Because I remember, last time I did this, I went through every room here. That's wrong well, I mean, that means uh, you save some time. Yeah, because I went through every room trying to remember which uh, chest it was. And now we <laughs> now we got it in the second try. Yeah, and the first try was a Mimic, so you didn't have the uh, chest opening time. Yeah. Like, most of the, the Mimic, most of them are, most of the chests are Mimics in that area. Yeah, some are not. Like, every room, I think, has one non-mimic. Also, you'd think that they wouldn't make me go through a labyrinth after all that, but no. And they, also, they make me go through a labyrinth. Open. can't remember if, this is, if it's the chest I need to open, or if it's... Uh, Double tap the... All, all you can also just double tap the uh, exit to exit the fight. It is not. Nope. Okay. You so need to walk around. So it. I think these are. Um, I think this one is the one where it's. Uh, right. We gotta walk around it. Or no, it, it is the one. That... Nope. Yes. You gotta kill the mimic. Okay. That. That's... I don't know. No, it's, uh... Yeah, yeah, you gotta kill the Mimic, I guess. This is probably the Mimic. No, it's not. Oof, he gets you baited by the game. That happens imagine a lot. The game imagine loves to imagine searching for the Mimic. Ah, oh, okay, no, I just need to kill the dude that's blocking the chest. Alright. There's so many different, like, gimmicks to every floor. I can Which never keep them straight. Problem. Yeah. Like, sometimes it's, I have to open this chest to get the key, or sometimes I have to kill something, or sometimes I have to find a, the right it. switch. Sometimes I get to go around. Nope, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, if you press it twice. This one is pretty obvious. Oh, I didn't expect that to be the actual... <laughs> I expected it to be something else. Yeah, sometimes it's and just right hello. in front of the door and you need to kill it. Hello, Art Eisen. Hello, fellow gamers. Uh, hey, Art. Art Eisen. I'm the other commentator for this run. I speedrun and route uh, Warriors and anime games, and particularly SAO games, but not this one. I've actually barely seen this game. Uh, You're not missing much. Yeah. It's a lot of uh, Rick running around and killing things with a katana. I mean, yeah, if you're not Rick, then, like, why would you even play? 
Uh, normally, I have a, a female character that I play. I don't as. believe you, it's Rick. Yeah, it's always been Rick. Everyone plays as Rick in every SAO game, it's just a fact. Except for yesterday, but we don't talk about that. <laughs> but then we had Rick. Yeah, we had Rick in the party, yeah. What so if what if I want to play as the anti-Rick? Um, then you have to stop playing SAO games, because that's violating the religion of Rick, and you can't do that. Just Fair. start playing some AOS games. Yeah. I don't know what that stands for. Age of uh, Simping. I wouldn't say Age of Sympathy, but, you know, both are all right. Interesting. Yes. Yeah, seems fine to me. Yeah. Um, so we are on floor 81 currently. So we're going at a pretty decent pace. Uh, we're currently on pace. We're actually a little, uh, we're going a little bit faster than, than my current PB. Yo, that's, that's base. Uh, that's pretty great. Yeah, for 34 seconds ahead currently. And if we can get lucky with an Arcana skill here again, and we sweep through the boss, that would always be nice. Yep. Yeah. So, I apologize if you explained this earlier in the run, but uh, I've seen you've been using Yuki a lot as your partner. Is there a reason she's the best one? Uh, she just has, like, the highest stats, I think. Um, oh, the best sword. Honestly, it doesn't matter that much who you choose, and it's not much of a, of a time loss to pick her over Asuna. Um, Fair enough. But you need... Like, you don't... It, it would be slower to not take anybody. Yeah. I guess that's the last option is to go solo. Yeah. Oh, oh no. That's the stun that. lasted like half a second. It's okay. It's not that big of a time loss. It is sad that you didn't get it off, but it's fine. So, I don't know how much you've seen of this run already, Art, but... Uh, I've been watching it. Yeah, I right. So you... I've had the commentary off because I've been figuring out yeah. you know, stuff with the other gamers in the setup. But, but you uh, see that once the Arcana skill hits, it's uh, GG's. Yeah, oh yeah, it's, it's pretty laggy. Yeah. yeah, and unlike most of the other SAO games, this one doesn't rely that much on normal attacks because of the burst skull, uh, burst gauge that you see in the middle. Yeah. Once that, it's, uh, once that is zero, it, normal attacks do like no nothing. We are now officially a minute and a half ahead. Yo. Despite nice. the fact that I didn't hit that arcana skill. <laughs> uh, 82, right. An ephemeral gem, which I just get, immediately yep. get to turn in. Yep, because, because it's, it's a quest. 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 Yep. All the, we, since it's New Game Plus, we just have all of the fetch quest items in our inventory. Of course. Uh, so, it probably saves a lot of time, huh? Uh, yeah. We actually didn't with the New Game Plus save for a while. Uh, there was just one item that was missing from the inventory. So I actually went ahead and uh, farmed, like, 20 of it. And there was also a uh, specific uh, necklace, which adds movement speed, which wasn't on the save as well. Yeah. So, uh, so we went to get that as well. Uh, Indeed. Actually, but, it was uh, it was Sun that got that. I'm I'm bad at that part of the game. So. Yeah, it was like a really annoying dungeon because at the end of the dungeon, enemies were also level 300, yeah. which means every normal enemy was uh, about double the strength of a boss enemy. Well, just don't get hit, right? That's all you have to do. Yeah, the problem is they avoid literally any skill. Skills have delay and. Uh, you just die in like three hits if you don't keep on healing. Yeah, but like just don't get hit. Like you're Rick, right? So you should be pretty much invincible. That's I, why I, the yeah, end quest Rick, run yeah. is Rick, right? Uh, no, yeah, that, that's... we are not invincible, I'm sorry. No, oh, that's too bad. We can actually die. Uh, we actually have a chance to one-shot ourselves later. Yo, that sounds awesome. Uh, like I'm game. really hoping it doesn't happen. I don't think you can uh, uh, open it from this side. This uh, <clears throat> because there's just a uh, a one. If you watch the anime, uh, you know the dude who made ALO and like kidnapped Asuna yeah. and all that. Uh, since we didn't leave at floor seventy-five in the game, 
world, unlike, uh... Aha! Unlike, uh... Mm -hmm. in, the, in the actual anime world, where they left at 475. He gets impatient and comes into SAO to uh, try and get Asuna. Mm -hmm. I um, think that was a glitch from and the he, atmosphere, actually. And he makes a, uh... He makes a, a character with, uh, broken... Like, he gets I to. Oh, yeah, to I think I need to call him. Um, he gets, like, all the. the. admin, oh, admin privileges, basically. And he gives himself, oh, like, a max level character with broken equipment. So he's a cheater. Right? Yeah, and then he tries to. Uh, and then he fights you. Uh, and he's got this one skill that you can actually get later on. Uh, mm. But I didn't know what it was when I was running the new game run for the first time. Mm -hmm. Um, that the next three hits are reflected 100% damage. Oh, okay. And yeah, so I, if you hit him while he's got that up, you just die. Yeah, and I was I was sword skill, and my sword skill did enough damage to just 100% my own HP bar. Yep. I also struggled with that when I faced that in NG+. Plus. Uh, not in NG+, plus, in any percent. But in any percent, that's less a problem, because you just don't do enough damage to absolutely murder yourself. Yeah. Uh, in new game, you still do. You don't do enough damage to one-shot him, but you definitely do enough damage to one-shot yourself. Yeah, and any percent you <laughs> most of the time do not enough damage to one-shot yourself, because your HP is very high in the beginning of the game. Or when you are, even when your level is low. Even though it's said here that the special monster is nearby, we're gonna get back to this because this is the way to the labyrinth. Yeah, so you have to do both the dungeons to get there. Yep. And both the so dungeon that, entrances uh, are at the start. So that actually does not matter in this case. So how was your food, Art? Um, yeah, I'm curious. I didn't get poisoned, uh, so it was, it was oh, pretty Oh, well, that's, that's... Yeah, I mean, it's not like I expected to, but you never know what can happen, you know. Yeah, that's DoorDash true. and all that. Um, that you could be like, an axe murderer for all you know. Yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't think um, I don't think we're sponsored by DoorDash. Hopefully, I don't get in trouble for saying that. Um, I was wrong. But uh, uh, yeah, I had some good. Uh, it was like some rice and some chicken and some avocado. Dude, so I'm it hungry. Was a time. It was a good time. Good. I'm glad I could uh, contribute to that. Maybe, uh, maybe you'll go rate. faster now, so you can uh, eat sooner. Yeah. And then you can yeah. get an even better PV. Oh god, yeah. uh, I I think DB would be mad at me if I got a much better PV than I have. <laughs> <laughs> Aha! Oh. That's Yo, why, is this Metroid just... now? We got uh, wounds with eyes? There is Correct. one where it, just, it, it completely takes up a wall later that you have to beat up. Yep. Oh yeah, I remember. That's so annoying one. That's, that's... <laughs> Yeah, it's like a certified Metroid moment. That's pretty great. Yeah. It, they, they don't show up that often, honestly. No, and they don't show up at all in the Hello area, I think. Yeah, yeah, I will say I did think it was weird that um, breaking that door didn't give you like any missile drops or anything. <laughs> You're right. Ah, oh, I went the right way. You can tell you went the right way because that thing showed up. Yep. Path of most <laughs> resistance is usually the correct one in games. What? Oh. What? No, you didn't get the key yet. So are these are these dungeons like procedurally generated? They're like random. No, they're the same. There's no. just so many of them. That it my brain doesn't know how to uh, memorize all of it. Gotcha. There we go. I had to kill that thing. Well, it's what does this start on floor seventy five or? Yeah, uh, it starts 76. on floor seventy six. Yeah, so it's like twenty five floors with multiple dungeons each. Yeah. 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 And That's it's like uh, my brain my brain is a big dumb, so Ah yeah. Stuck on geometry. <laughs> Rick is too fat. Geometry, the biggest problem with the game. Alright. And now it's so to go out of my way to kill this orc dude. Also, uh Rick can't fall two feet. Cause yep. all of the all of the ledges have uh that is insane wall. fall damage. That's insane fall damage. You die of fall damage if you do. Oh, you got the bug, but it doesn't matter that much. Yeah. Because, uh. 
if you spam the, uh, the attack button too fast, it just cancels the attack and tries to wind up another one. Mm. Yep. Yeah, it's like it's... an anti-turbo kind of thing, I guess. Yeah. And I it... don't feel like turbo would be beneficial in this game anyway. But it's not. Yeah, if that's what they wanted to do, then I guess that's what we got. Um... Yeah. There are a few Actually, weird things about this game. It's a PSP game, so you can't really turbo anyway. It's a, like, yeah, you can't. it's uh, two PSP games in a Vita trench coat. So there'd be no way to <laughs> Vita trench coat. No, in a Vita black swordsman coat, actually. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, by the way, this is one of the one of the floors where I always remember it because it's always just uh, go in a circle until you get to the middle. Yep. <laughs> it's li it's literally just go in a circle until you get to the middle. Spirals are pretty easy. Yeah. I didn't even ever seen Gurren log on. There was never a game of that, was there? We're Everybody going to combine. Uh, if you've played any of the, uh, the Gurren Logon does show up in a game they, series. They get show up in like Super Robot Wars. And yeah. Stuff, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they've never had their own games, and it seems like a crime. Uh, they also show up in Risk of Rain if you mod. Well, okay. I actually really <laughs> like that one because that's one of the ones where like one of you can uh, like they're the big robot that makes up Gurren Logan is on the map somewhere, and one of your friends can mm. get in it and pilot it while you're in mm. the tiny version, and then you can combine. It's a, it's a pretty good mod. Um, I like Risk of Rain, too. Playing with the DBZ characters is the most fun. Because <laughs> you can just be Dad Cheetah in the, like, the Hawaiian shirt. Sounds pretty cool. Right. Uh, but... As for this game, uh, honestly, there's not a whole lot to talk about right, right now. I you think you went too far. Uh, I did, you're right. This is the one where it changes. So, yeah, is I... it just the sword skills that are available to Katana that make it um, the they're faster? Action. Like, they're they way make faster. It faster than the dual swords? Yeah. Like, they yeah. just have, like, higher multipliers or, like, better animations? Better speed? animations. Okay. Better animation speed, especially yeah. the delay after the animations is just yeah better. Like with dual swords, that would have been like a fifteen hit combo mm, for roughly Thanks. the same would... damage. Yeah. Or overkill damage, which that probably yeah. also was. Uh, yeah. yeah. Overkill damage generally. Uh, katanas also cause bleed where dual swords don't, and oh, bleed, probably better bleed on, like, is a bosses. very small percentage tick for damage. Yeah. Which useful on bosses because they're not generally dying in one hit. It might yeah. save a couple seconds per boss or something. Yeah. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yes. Green Z Saber says, "I still gotta buff up that Vita file so I can transfer it over to the PS4 version." You can transfer yes. it. It's got cross save. That's cool. Yep, cross save cool. Actually does. Especially on console because you can't like just. Generally, it's difficult to just download a save uh, with like maxed stuff. If yeah. I were on, if I'm on PC, that's generally what I do. But we have do we have a save file stuff. on speedrun.com for this for new game oh, plus. Neat. If anybody wants to run it, uh, it's already got everything equipped and it's got all of the items you need for the fetch quests and everything. After that, it's like just those. after that, it's just learning, uh, learning where you're going, what you're doing. Yeah. Ah, uh, it looks like it's a one-way save transfer. Okay. That's true. It's the same with Hollow Realization. It has the uh, exact same uh, thing for console, for PS4 to uh, Vita. Yeah. Not a lot of people have Vitas, I don't think, so... I have no. one. I actually do have one. I have a PSP. <laughs> I've never... Have I even seen a Vita in person? I don't think I have. Ah. Uh... Well, ooh, now uh, if we look at a uh, go quick, because uh, he is now stunned, which means he either needs to kill the boss before half or get rid of it by using a stun, uh, stun crystal. And he uses a stun crystal just in time before it uh, prevents him from doing anything. How long does that last? Uh, 15 seconds or so. Ooh. Yep. And the uh, total duration is 30, and then after 15 seconds you can't do anything anymore for the other 15 seconds. So this boss resists slash damage? 
which is why we're not um, doing nearly as much damage as normal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are there like hammers in the game? Yep. Uh, yeah, maces. Yeah. Is it? Uh, it it wouldn't be worth it to switch though. Okay. Maces no. aren't very good. No. Hmm. That's sure, normally it's... that's normally what you'd bring your your second person for, so that you mm -hmm. can focus on your weapon of choice. Uh, yep. But again, maces just aren't very good. They're really good for being tanky, but they're not good for damage. Right, and we don't care about survival. Yes, yeah. we don't. All right, yeah. now we go on to next. Wandering fungi. It's another kill quest. You're... Yep. Thank you. Want to kill fungi? Oh no, it's a, it's a it's no. not, it's not a kill quest. It's from the fungi. The next, the next one's a kill forest. quest. The next one's a kill quest. Because it's, uh, uh, it's swarming with ants. Oh, yeah, that's... I think that's the one cycle, if I'm correct. Get boss information. Oh, nope, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I'm gonna go here. Don't eat my down input, please. Eat his down input. <laughs> no, I don't like going to the hollow area. <laughs> what do you guys think the down inputs taste like? What what flavor do you think they are? Like uh, they taste maybe? like blue raspberry. Okay, blue. Yeah. Ra okay, so blue raspberry is not a real flavor because there's no such thing as a blue raspberry. I know. Um. So, what <laughs> real flavor do you think they are? Pepperoni cheese. I'll take. I'll accept that. <laughs> uh, triple cheese, double pepperoni. Yeah. No, that's fine. It doesn't have to be a fruit. Yeah, I wasn't implying fruits. I know we both said fruits. Uh, I mean, fruits but... are delicious. Yeah, no, fruits yeah. great, but we can have pepperoni-flavored inputs. That's fine. <laughs> I'm the one that's going on healthy. I know. And up, and up <laughs> cheese, and up one tastes like uh, an up input tastes like extra toasty cheeses. Yeah, I All can right. believe that. So normally, if you, if you don't have access to the map, the mushrooms are supposed to help you find. The exit. Mm -hmm. But uh, there are also mushroom enemies here, I... so you know, they are here to screw with you. Slightly lost. I hate this area. Follow the mushrooms. Right. See, follow, follow the mushrooms. Yeah, follow the mushrooms. Uh, that is not the main monster we have to kill. Nope. The main monster not. we have to kill is over here. In a different area. Is this the second this is the this first happened? instance of it being in an area that we don't have to actually visit to get to the end. Second time. First one was like the second floor. Or the oh yeah, you're, you're right, you're right. It was the first floor. Because we have to go into the, the cave with the goblins. Yep. Yeah, the second one. First one is... Uh... A one HP hero. Magic pixels. But yeah, I, I really like uh, this version of the game more than the. Going around. I like this game more than the Infinity Moment, which is the original version of the Minecraft part of this game. And that's because of how different the combat system is. In, uh, that's because they used game. more of the combat system from the second game. Well, uh, yeah. How would you oh, describe this is the one with the player. between them to someone who hasn't played them? Alright, so the, this game, especially with sword skills, um, this game has sword skill cooldowns. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, those are annoying to deal with, but they aren't worse than uh, having an SP bar for everything. As you can mm -hmm. see, he still has an SP bar here, but that is only for side skills that normally buff your character, which are handy in games, but in NG it doesn't really matter. Yeah. In NG, you just do so much damage, it's yeah. like whatever. Okay. Yeah, you don't have to buff yourself. But in Infinity Moments, everything relies on uh, SP. Which means once you run out, there is quite literally no way to uh, get more, unless you wait. But there is no auto attack function, 
or it mm -hmm. only has an auto attack, you can uh, manually normal attack, mm -hmm. which makes it more like a turn-based RPG than an action RPG, like this mm -hmm. is. Which to be yeah, fair, the, like the normal attacks in this game aren't very useful. No, but they at least have two which is better, in my opinion, than not being able to at all. So that's uh, that's my personal opinion to say that I like the other one less. But if you're more a fan of the uh, the turn-based RPG, I would uh, recommend Infinity Moments. Although the one uh, nice thing about the PC version is that you don't have to hold a PSP for like five hours. That's true. Yeah, that's true. The PSP was not a very ergonomic system. Either that is correct. Neither that's, was the Vita. Uh, Neither was the true. DS. Oh. Uh, As somebody who worked at a at a an a retro video game store testing consoles, yeah, all day, like I I've learned that there are many things that I do not enjoy uh, ergonomics wise. Yep. Have you ever held a Dreamcast <clears throat> controller? Okay, but the Dreamcast controller has, like, the best stick ever made. I mean, yeah. Hall Effect sticks are great. Uh, they actually uh, make uh, third-party ones for the Steam Deck. Do they really? Because yeah. the reason Which that that stick way? isn't on any other uh, modern controllers by default, despite being possibly the best analog stick ever made, it's like a frictionless analog stick. It doesn't wear out, it doesn't ever develop stick drift. Yeah. Uh, the PS5 has an inferior version of it that scrapes away at the magnet over time, which is why those controllers, or at least early versions of them, I don't know about if they've fixed it by now, are susceptible to stick drift. And uh, Sega has a patent on it, and so no one else can do it. Mm. So. Uh, Sucks for us, I guess. But. They they do make a third-party one for the, the Steam Deck. Uh, I mm. saw... Uh, a video on them. Apparently they're not that hard to put in, and they even managed to get a thing in there where you, there's still a click button, which was one of the main issues that people had with it, because they're like, oh, you right. can't put a click button in it. You can. It's just slightly annoying. I've always thought that being able to click sticks is a little bit overrated, but... I mean, it adds another thing. Like, I, I, w I like it in certain games. In this game, it's weird, because uh, the... Normally, it's the right stick click in for like uh, lock on in most games. Yep. In this game, it's left stick. Oh, weird. Yeah. Yeah, that is strange. I assume you can remap though. Uh, you can't remap something if it's already mapped. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah. I'm messing up my Next. inputs. I don't normally Manual. talk while I'm running this. <laughs> Fair <Yeah>. enough. <laughs> Um, Understandable. So, on PC, can you use uh, controller and mouse at the same time? Yes. Yep. That sounds pretty gamer. Yeah, I'm a big fan of like dual input stuff because I got like wrist issues. Uh, um, I can't really, I can't really um, recommend it because the mouse and keyboard controls are real freaking weird. Hmm. I mean, there's oh, ways around it though. Our right? sickened like, Minotaur. So I'm one of those weirdos who has like a 12 button MMO mouse. I got like I a, have a grid as well. Yeah, like a grid of 12 buttons on the side. Yeah. So if you have that, you can just map those to whatever keys. And like, if you need to use mouse for something, you just like reach over to it real quick and take your hand off the controller. And then when you need controller again, you just move it back and keep it in your left hand the whole time. Yeah. Uh, I do that in Fatal Bullet. Uh, or did, I don't run that game anymore. Uh, cause that one, in that game, it's a third-person shooter, so you want, like, mouse gaming when you can get it. But having analog movements on mm -hmm. Barely in time there. Hmm. I mean, there would... Uh, does the Vita version of this game make use of the touchpad at all? On the back? Uh, no. It doesn't. It makes sense if it's a port of a PSP game, it wouldn't have one. Oh yeah, he went down way faster than the last boss. I guess that resistance to slashing damage the rock guy had. As this guy is actually weak to slashing damage. There you go. And also, Arcana skill did hit on this one. Yeah. <laughs> that also does a big chunk of damage. Like, more than an entire HP bar. Wow. 
generally. Yeah, uh, it didn't do an entire uh, HP bar on the guy that was resistant to slashing damage, but that's because he's resistant to slashing damage. Yeah. And but there's no way to get close. around resistance. Uh, it's swarming fans. Yeah. Yep. Oh no, this is another fetch. I can't ever like they need to name these better. <laughs> I, I like the naming though. A little late now. Yeah. They need to remake this game. Yeah, remake the remake. Re re all over. <laughs> Well, it wasn't really a remake. Ah, down here. Ah, he went to the whole area again. Time lost. Oh, it ate his input. It ate his input. Why is it at the top? <laughs> Put it on the bottom, dang it. Because the whole area is like the newest or the latest introduced thing. Minecraft already existed. I'm still annoyed about it. Oh, is this the one with, uh... Yep. Okay, yeah. I do not remember which ones. I, I think this might be the one that has the, uh... The one where you have to go, like, down the holes. Like, you have to fall down the holes. Yeah, 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 it's this one. I just don't know which ones they are. But they, they just need to make, make a remake and then just put Rick in it. Rick's already in it. What are you talking is about? Is this You're the correct one? Actually, right? as an as an extra character. Was the anime even that far when this game came out? Uh, no. I, I don't think, think the, so. I think the light novels were. Yeah, yeah, light novels were, but anime not. I feel like the game is typically more directly based on the anime since it's. Yeah, uh, but the but the games more, all, uh, like they all split off after this. Sure, sure. They all there's like game original stories. There's game original characters as well because like Straya and Philia are Went only wrong way. The... Yeah, Philia is Philia's best girl. In uh, this game, true. Yeah. Premier is I'm best not girl. Say off in the every best other girl. Game. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I'm not agreeing with that. Premier, you mean Premier? That's how yeah. it's spelled, right? It should yeah. be pronounced Premier. That's She's my opinion. Cute, though. Premier is cute though. I, I just uh, want I want to protect her. They don't they don't say it that way. Um, I don't like her because she's not a good party member in the game she's from. <laughs> uh, she's, a one in, she's a decent one in she's a decent one in Fatal Bullet though. She yeah she gets a lot of good buffs I guess. And she's also um, one of the few that uses like optical shotguns. Um, party member well I guess party members don't really matter for damage except on NG. Um, I can't remember the optimal spread in that game. I know, uh, Stray is really good, because she gets a, an optical Gatling. Yeah. But I don't remember who the other two best are. Because there's, like, it's not just the weapons they Straya's have. Stray is also different... just a really good tank, though. Well, yes. But they have different AI. Like, Agil also has a Gatling. But he's really bad at using it. Like, his AI doesn't know how to use it correctly, for some reason. So he ends up being really bad, but when you play as him in Hero Quest, he's just better than Straya in a lot of cases. Um, because he does, he has better DPS than her and has better skills for uh, fast clear, like fast kills with the bosses. Oh, um, it is part where I'm forced into a uh, party with Straya. Oh yeah, she is definitely right there. But yeah, I think Straya is actually a pretty consistently powerful party member in like all the games. She's really good in Lost Song as well, I believe. She's a user, and those are the best. That's the best weapon type in that game. Uh, she's she's also, a two-handed sword user in this as well. Yeah, she she is in most of the games, I think, where they're using melee weapons. Because in Hollow Realization, like in, I don't know if she's in uh, LSization, the curse. Uh, she is, but after one. game, yeah, well, after go. game, it's a uh, far end game. Um, I haven't actually played LSization, the curse very much. I have in, all of the games. It's just I don't play them yeah, that much. I mean, it's a it's a time sink. I understand. In all of the games where she's a party member, she's like top five, at least of the ones I've played. It's pretty neat to have a character that's consistently good, because it really, it's, a lot of them wildly fluctuate. 
like um, in Fatal Bullet, Kirito is like one of the worst party members in the entire game because they gave yep. him the gun sword combo and the AI doesn't know how to use it. It's, like, gun sword is really good for there's... movement though, right? Yeah, but that doesn't matter for him. No, he's no. an AI, so you can't play his other characters in that game except in Hero Quest. Yeah. Yes. So um, in Hero Quest, he's PvP. okay. No, he's still bad there too. Oh. Uh, just questioning, I played Fatal Bullet, I'm just never really got into speedrunning. Uh, I yeah, was gonna enough. start speedrunning New Game Plus in Fatal Bullet, but I'm got, uh, I got really annoyed at trying to get the movement speed uh, equipment. Um, we have a save that has it, so... Oh, okay. We so have, um, before... do you have Moonlights? Mi... Or not Moonlights, uh... You don't... You want... The, uh, the one... Sun... The one... Blue Roses? Do you have Blue Roses? Blue Roses aren't optimal. They aren't? Nope. Uh, AR Ninja 2 and Cyber MTX. Or if you're on Extreme, just AR Ninja 2. Um, and we also have Gold Disasters. We have a we have the dual wheel Gold Disaster setup. Um, we have yeah we have the movement speed accessories. Basically all the maxed stuff. Everything that is possible to obtain legitimately, we have at the maximum possible value because I know how to use Cheat Engine. Hmm. <laughs> it's too bad you couldn't use Cheat Engine to help me with this. Uh well. Uh, I didn't know about it, but yeah, um, I didn't know about it at the time, presumably. Um, but I've got, yeah, we, we have a, it's my save, actually, that's on the SRC page for Fatal Board. The only thing is you're probably going to want to reset the inputs, uh, because I use weird controls. Uh, that happened yesterday, um, but we don't talk about that. I mean, small price for but, um, your safe. Yeah. Um, but the, yeah, the party member viability in that game is, like, really weird, because it's purely based on what buffs they have. Your allies do bad damage if you're, once you're, like, halfway through, not half, like, NG plus and on, you are the main damage dealer, period. Because you can upgrade your weapons and your allies kind of can't. Um, which is why, like, in the NG plus run of that game, we don't care about our party members at all, we just let the game switch them out like when it feels like it uh, oh, and by the way the oh. person that you just saw on the screen which uh, you might not remember that is what we talked about the guy that's Tom the guy Kong. who uh, who tries to steal Asuna yep. uh, yeah. the guy who, who or whatever who Kirito stabs yeah. in real life in the, in the anime no he doesn't doesn't he I'm pretty sure Kirito just straight up kills him no no no, no he doesn't no, he kill him in the life he does He's go after good. him with a knife or something and somehow doesn't face any kind of consequences for this despite doing it in a hospital parking lot, like in, in a public yeah, place. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I guess it, good he for first him. got hurt. Self defense, I guess. Uh, there's a difference between self defense and uh, stabbing a dude with a knife. I mean, yeah, he I... went after the dude, so. I mean, the dude. I don't first, remember the context uh, at all, knife. frankly. I block, I block that arc of the anime out of my memory. So to be fair, it's one of the worst arcs of the anime. Uh, yes, I think Gun Gale is actually worse. That's probably contentious. As someone Which is who likes sad because I, I really like. Uh... Oh, is it this part? Yep. Yeah, it's this part. Okay, I gotta, gotta, gotta leave this area. You don't um, have I, to go through here. Yeah, this I just is... thought it was always weird that the anime relies on the game being able to dox its own players by opening by them opening their menus. It's like that would never happen. That would never fly. Like this game has been going for years and no one said anything. Like, hmm, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know about that, Chief. I guess they really are dumb. But, uh, you know, I, there's just a lot of parts of Sword Art that I like anyway, so it's whatever. I mean, I own 12 Sumo figures, so. I own zero. That's fair. That's probably a healthier life choice. It's probably also I own affordable. one figure, period. There you go. I have, and, like, and I uh, won it in a, in a UFO catcher. Like, okay. one of the well, Japanese online UFO catchers. That sounds cooler. Uh, I just spent a lot of money. I have, um... 95 anime figures. I have zero. <laughs> so. Which is a very good uh, life uh, decision for me at this point. I think it's a good life decision for most people. It's a very, very uh, expensive hobby. <laughs> Don't start doing it. It's, it's terrifying. Yeah. 
But uh, now you just gotta yep, go to the side yeah. to. Uh... Oh, that's not the right way. Oh. Oh, it's yeah, oh, it forward and up. then to the right now. Oh uh, yeah. I guess you can't zoom out the mini map at all. Nope. Mm. Nope. I wish I you could. That. that would make things easier. I bet. It's okay. We're so... four minutes ahead of my PG. Aside from the uh, new katana strategies, how how has the route for this game evolved since uh, either of you started running it? Uh, mostly tutorial stuff and some parts in the uh, holo area. So for NG plus, I I'm not really that invested in NG plus, mm -hmm. so not a lot have changed. But uh, uh mostly it's mostly with... the katana thing. Yeah. But with uh, any percent, um, big things that we found out is that uh, controller in tutorial is uh, just objectively better than uh, than mouse and keyboard because you can move while menuing. Yep, and yep. for some reasons that is not possible with uh, mouse and keyboard. Can you move with controller while menuing with mouse? No. Uh, uh no, I don't think weird. so. That's strange. You can in the in the next game, but it seems. Uh, well, the mouse doesn't uh, activate on menus. Is the problem? Oh, okay. You don't have a cursor on menus, like. Okay, so it's not like oh, it just moves right. the camera around. I was just using okay. the mouse right there. Uh, I... Yeah. Yeah, that is yeah. a little bit different from how it works in Hollow Realization. Yeah. So that Indeed. that makes sense that that would be uh, a little bit of an impediment. In Hollow yeah. Realization, you get a cursor, so you can just move while menuing with whatever you want. That was the wrong idea. And it's, uh, you can actually scroll with the controller down D on D-pad and the mouse wheel at the same time. Um, it goes you can more. scroll to like the bottom of menus super quickly if you need to get to like the skill menu for um, like uh, wherever two-handed axe is. The first thing we get in that is like buffer followed by um, uh, yeah. you know, like fast step and then buffer. The way that the the way that um, weapons and skills work in this game is really weird. Yeah. Like unlocking them mm -hmm. um, because you in a in a uh, casual playthrough, if you're trying to unlock uh, katana. I hope you're ready to sit there for several hours and level up like three different weapons to get there. Oh, yeah. you can't even just to match use them. Yeah, you, you can't, can't use all the weapon types at base. No, the, you can. Oh, wow. It's just like you need to have maxed out like uh, Gamer, in this case, single-handed swords and scimitars to get to katanas. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it's I it's not forgot to do this entirely, stuff. you can't use katanas under first sword skill, but to use and unlock any other sword skills, um, you do need the masteries. Uh, yeah, like you can equip katanas right away, but they do nothing to give you experience for the katana skill tree. That's nope. so strange. Until you've unlocked the skill tree. Because uh, I spent uh, like a hundred hours actually getting katanas, I think. My yeah, that yeah. sounds very time consuming. Dang. It is. And it's really annoying. Um, but and... objectively, those weapons are the best next to dual wielding. Because the first time I actually played this game was on the Vita. Mm -hmm. um, sorry, I had to go back to kill some, some orc things. Yeah. Because I forgot you, uh, to do forgot it my first time through. Uh. <laughs> We'll go back uh, before we go back down to War 76 to do all yep. that stuff, to kill the rest of them. Just this way. Indeed. What? No. I don't think you were supposed to hit that. It's okay, we can just hit it again. Uh... But yeah, no. So uh, katanas is... are the worst to unlock in the game. So this is the Ocarina of Time Water Temple, right? You're a blind oh, there's a guy couple. with a sword. There's a couple of floors like this. A temple where you gotta raise and lower water. Yeah, there's a couple of floors like this. Um, can you like do? I don't actually know the Ocarina of Time speedrun. I was gonna try and be clever and 
make a reference, but I, I've actually never seen a speedrun of that game, believe it or not. Uh, it's really mm -hmm. quick, and I don't think they actually do the Water Temple anymore. Oh, probably. <laughs> yeah, I gotta turn in my speedrunner card now. Never seen an OG speedrun. Didn't think you have to do that, because I thought you need to go to the right. Oh, right, I do. <laughs> I've been jabated. It's okay, we're four minutes ahead. Oh, that's fine. It's like that time when they removed the jabated emote from Twitch. Oof. How dare. How dare they do that. Yeah. Oh, alright, so, this is a that really interesting fun. thing for the, for the speedrun is that uh, in new game, we would not be fighting these. In new game, we would be running the other way because there's a way that has no fights at all. That's just a mm -hmm. longer pathway to get to this ent exit because um, the fights would take too long. But in new game yep. plus, we get to go the fast way by just smacking the enemy and uh, killing them and going through the door. I think it's called Path of the Strong and Path of the Weak. There, yeah, it's something like that. If you read the tablets. But uh, now we can just take the path of the strong. Yeah, we just get to kill the wyverns. That's... Well, you're Rick, so of course you're strong, right? So... Yeah. yeah. Yep. Each and floor look... gets uh, gets slowly uh, more wyverns. Yeah, they just want you in the end to go for the path of the week. They just want to test how far you go before you say yourself. I'm gonna... Which, yeah, uh, in, yeah, they are door warnings. <laughs> uh, we great. did a door warning in the beginning. <laughs> yeah, the doors are the worst part of this game. Yep, unmutable. Unless Rick, you mute the entire doors. Oh my god, why yeah. does that sound so good? Rick, god of doors. It's one of his holy symbols. It's just, uh, And whenever Indeed. he like pulls it out of his shirt, it just makes the door sound. Mm-hmm. Of course, at full volume. Yep. Okay, so we need to use the teleport gate. Go back to the. Go back to Nidorath. As far as trail. And then, and then back to murdering their goblins, or I mean, slaying their families. We will kill many orcs today. Because we need it for a quest. Because an NPC asks us to. An NPC was like, yo, I could really use some pork right now. You can just... Wait, orc meat is pork? I guess they have, like, um, faces, but... You're, you're not... I can't. Huh. Oh, there we go. Just... Maybe you can just get him out of the wall. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, they, they, they were in the wall, it wouldn't let me, um... It wouldn't let me, uh... Attack them. them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Could be a final one. There's a lot of weird things happening in this world that have not happened before. Like at the very yeah. beginning where uh, Rick's fat kept causing the the uh, camera to act all wonky. That's really I weird. think you already have all of them. You can just yeah. uh, go back. Uh, I can just do this. Yeah. Dang. And then we go back down Just, to yep. And uh, then first give in the quest, and then... Uh... Ignore Silica. Yep. She only I do that when I be... watch the show, too, so... She's unimportant. Isn't she, isn't, she a, a, uh, isn't she a pop star in the show? I can't remember. Like, in her life? I have life. no idea. No, she's more like, on, uh, for a party, she's like the mascot. I'm not... I don't really care for, like, the, the side was... characters that get, like, one episode devoted to them in the first arc, because that isn't enough time to make them seem, I guess, in in short, interesting, uh, in a more long form. Uh, yeah, I don't feel like they get fleshed out enough, and they yeah. try and present, like, the hobbies that they have as personalities, and it just doesn't... It doesn't, it doesn't work. It feels shallow to me, and it, there's not much about the characters for me to like. Like, um, I like Asuna... Because she gets, like, an arc. Uh, yeah. We see her, like, grow and change as a character. Um, I like Yuki, because we see the same with her. It's a little shorter. Mother's Rosaria is only, like, eight episodes or something, if I remember. 
but still, eight episodes is enough to show some character development. Yeah. Um, and I like Rick because he's amazing. Basically, oh. he's huge. Huh. This is the same, uh, more or less the same model as an enemy from Hollow Realization. That makes sense, yep. but I, I hadn't no, realized that it, they used the same models for a lot of them. Because there's no, like, orcs or anything in Hollow Realization. No, but this one is uh, mostly from the Hollow area. These enemies These are normal enemies in the Hollow area? Lot. Yeah, oh, okay. a lot. So, for me, they don't just go out of the way, but they are in like, defensive form. Yeah, this boss is interesting if you're going for a first playthrough or for any percent, but for NG boss, it, it quite literally doesn't matter. But he has an attack and a defense stage, and uh, quite literally, once he hits his defense stage in your first playthrough, you uh, can't really hurt it. Like uh, Kifulu did here. But our attack stage is like it does insane damage or offensive form. And it should be dead here. Yep. Not the lost attack for uh, Rick though. That goes to Viola. Sorry, I'm being quiet. My stomach was grumbling, so I'm eating cookies. No worries. Just Very focus good. on the game. We got this. He's yeah, trying to uh, again. If you don't PB as Rick, you'll never be able to live it down, so. Yep. What is Straya hiding? So what what I, but a PB for me is literally world record. <laughs> That's fair. Yep. Um, this one is Rise of the Undead. Yep. That's true. First one. 13th Lost Soldiers. I think that's two cycles, if I remember correctly. No. Always. No. Never fails. Oh, Never yo? Fails. Nylon's in the chat? Surprise guest. We have a so surprise guest. Rich. Hello, Nylon. We got yep. we got another prophet of Rick in the chat. Oh yeah. Yep. It's, it's nice to have people. Because I'm a very boring person. I'm not very good at talking. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's this one. Where they're the only ones that uh, count are in this first area. Yeah, because there are more ones I think later on, but but I they're don't know like they don't count for some reason. <laughs> Is this supposed to look like Rick, right? Yeah, it's Rick ASF, I see. Yeah, it's like Rick mixed with uh, Bob from Tekken, kind of. That makes sense. I think that uh, that drives forth the point that Rick would be trying to do, which is that, you know, this is what you'll look like if you play video games too much. Right, like, you know, this is the actual, uh, like, ideal yeah. male body, you know, peak performance, all that. <laughs> In a video game, especially, yeah. where you because don't have to like, be burdened by other things. Yeah, well, that was Bob's whole thing. He was like, I'm going to invent a new fighting style that makes use of all these traits, like speed, power, and weight. Yeah. And we're like, nah, man, you look silly. And then he was the best character in the game, so... <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> fact. He was the top tier, so... I he's guess very, he was right. Good. He was right. His martial arts are galactical donut stuff. It's really powerful. So how's everybody doing in this run? I've been doing good. Cthulhu is uh, I'm on going pace to be a fast. That's yeah. good. You like that? Oh, it's, it's one of. That sounds like uh, Cthulhu is several minutes ahead. That's good. Three That's and what a half. Like. You like when Cthulhu's ahead? Yeah, I am. Um... I'm currently the world record holder for this, uh, this, yeah. uh, this one. I'm basically yeah. gonna get a world record. I, I already know I am. Yeah, yeah. You get a PB unless something insane happens. 
How many world records have there been this marathon? Because Wody got one on the first run. I think a surprisingly medium amount. Um, yeah. I, I, you know, not to discredit them because I think Wody's is especially incredible. But, yeah, because um, he's optimized that game a lot already. Yeah. So much. What I will say is some people do cook for about, you know, like two weeks, let's say, prior to a marathon. And they get yeah. really, really good at their game. And then they want to show it off on the marathon. So they're not recording a lot of their runs where they're practicing. So for a lot of people out there who are curious like, the reason why, you know, it's not that uncommon potentially to see records like this happen in real time for events is a mix of, you know, a lot of prep from the runners while also being, um, you know, just like, uh, you know, lack of posting those runs in a way of like bubbling up the hype, you know, vaulting a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Makes sense. So. That way we can make history in a big way for a charity. Good cause. I think I've practiced uh, once. In the build there you go. Don't See? say that. One, yeah, that's one more that. time. <laughs> that's one more time than he would have normally practiced, which is incredible for this game. I don't get to stream that much because yeah. of my current living situation. Yeah. So, like, I don't like to practice if it's not on stream. Yeah, that's reasonable. Um, He's making the time for all of you guys out there. So yeah. You can see how this game is. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't practice like any game that I run, but it's okay because I, I just route. Um, but I practice. Yeah. I, I, pra I ran this for the, uh, for the submission. And then. That's great. We love that, that, by the way. That was Even with the uh, dual swords. Mm, yeah, um, just different weapon in general. And then yeah, we, and then I practiced, and then we had the the idea that katana would be faster i tested it out a little bit and uh was like yeah this is faster yeah turns I mean, out it was like 30 to 40 minutes faster yeah yeah weapon yeah. routing is really big in these games so that yep. makes sense yeah we had a big discussion yesterday about the data mining that we did in hollow realization for that exact reason actually yeah i cut a little bit of it not all but it was uh, very interesting. Yeah, the longer the shorter it is, a lot of, a lot of testing, a lot of looking into values for moves and stuff to make sure like what we can get is truly good. This game's a little bit trickier because you have like weapons will be almost like chained to other weapons, which is not really a thing in Realization in the same way. Yeah, yeah you can just use everything from the start in that game. Um, yeah. In New Game can... Plus, it's not a big deal because we have yeah. all of that already. Um, exactly. But oh, yeah. I wish somebody would data mine this game so that I could get, uh, so that I could have uh, a list of all the equipment so that I would know, like, a lot more information than we currently have. Yeah. But it'd be tough. I already know that. Yeah, I. This game I is tried not programmed very it. well. Yeah, the problem with these Vita original originally like vita or psp platformed games is that the way they're coded is very like uh abnormal and so when especially when you get ported games so many times you really kind of inherit a lot of old code and then like transplant new code on it it becomes like a a confusing blob i guess of information and so as much yeah. as i could find items somewhat and change their like icons i couldn't change anything else about them including their information or tips which made it useless. <laughs> yeah. And there's also a lot of permutations of items in these SAO games, like low attack, or like it'll have a low roll on its attack stat, or maybe it'll have a chance of rolling an additional effect on it. And uh, that's unfortunately uh, makes that process really hard. It's the same problem with us actually in Realization. There's um, a bunch of these like blue items and weapons that can get a new like special effect if they roll like impeccably yeah, but basically it's like an so apex. low it's yeah, like, it's like uh, a 1% chance when you get the item yep yeah, like the first one in the game you can get there's like a bo uh, boar boss just out in the field it's like level 13 he's not too tough to kill and we theorize that if you get like the god drop from him it's the fastest way to play at least the first chapter but it's less than a one it's less than a 1% chance of getting both mm -hmm. that and uh, optimal stats yeah. so 
Yes. It's like crazy reset fest to even attempt that, which is yeah, why the... it's probably not viable outside of a chapter 1% context, because it's like, mm -hmm. I'm going to reset for like three hours for a four hour run. Yeah, the weapon Vulcan Blade, its special effect is just 10% damage. Like just pure which is, damage. Which is just all, insane. All attacks. All damage. And it's um. like, oh, that's incredible. And so, uh, uh, yeah, it's an, an insane weapon. But unfortunately, as stated, like, I sat there reloading the area and running back to the boar over and over again, like 40 times to get one. And I was like, yeah, this is a problem. <laughs> So, uh, and it wasn't even like a high roll, it was like a 3 star out of 5. The way that effects oh. work in this game is like if they are the exact same effect, they do not stack. Yeah. And a lot of the, the uh, yeah, well no, it's like, there's two, two swords in the game that you use during the dual sword route. That yep. one of them has um, sword skill damage up and boss damage up or something like that. Mm. Yep. Um, Experiment. And then there's another one that has uh, just sword skill damage up and then something else. Um, and those stack because the sword skill damage up and the other thing are different. Um, it's probably coded as like basically that the weapon has its own buff, which is in this particular case, they like yeah, it's probably like hybridize those two effects. Yeah. And, oh, you're... and because of that, they're different. It's the same it's way like with... You... Uh, with like boots in this game and like a couple of the rings where they have the exact same movement speed up effect that they don't stack yeah probably partially yeah. intentionally but also because like they would just call it boots speed or something like internally well and no because then... it's like the ring speed and the boot speed don't stack because they're the exact sure. same effect but yeah then they're just called like speed up internally and then it doesn't stack because it's the same yeah. you know id 42 for the buff list yeah. yeah. You don't want to fill the buff list too far because yeah. then you, it starts becoming really, really, really large. They probably want only maybe 255 buffs in the game, or um, or they'll have to have a two byte buff list. Even it's worse for connections, I think. Yeah, because it was on PSP, so that would also kind of impact things. Yeah. Because like people might not think about it too much. They're like, well, two bytes versus one byte. That's not that's not a big deal. But you have to think, well, each of the characters in your party can have a insane amount of total buffs. And this game and has all some of them online play oh too, doesn't it? Because that's going to stack up really fast when you have to be transmitting that with... Uh... Don't say anything, son. You didn't see anything. You didn't see me I, mess uh... up that, that, <laughs> like, that input what, like three times. Eight years ago. <laughs> you you messed up your like three times. I'm this sorry. Game's 2014? Uh, so. Yeah, I don't know about the original, but this one is probably about 2014. The port is 2018. The Steam port. Yeah, the Steam port. Which is what this is. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But they probably wouldn't have changed much other than what was, like, absolutely necessary. Uh, Hollow Fragment came out on the Vita in 2014, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. A little... But yeah, it's a little bit... It's not like a problem for it necessarily to be a lot of bytes or demanding or whatever, but like you don't want that to be the case. You would prefer to just find a way to get 256 buffs in the game or oh, 255, no. I mean. Not these ones. Oh, I I hate remembering this. Because zero would be no buff. Do you remember these, Cthulhu? Uh, we'll see. <laughs> oh. Hey, you got three minutes to burn. <laughs> This is one of the ones where you kind of have to one. guess. I, know, I, know it's not that one. I think it's this one. Are these things like I feel like this place should be an ant hill, but like these things look like spiders? It's pretty confusing. They're ant lions. <laughs> yeah. There are species of spiders that burrow, but I'm not aware of any that live in groups like this. Uh, spiders are usually yeah like trapdoor spiders burrow. That's right. Yeah. I used to be terrified of those because I lived in Virginia and I was always like uh, scared that I was going to get bitten by one somehow. Even oh, though the they... real? The thing that you want to be scared of in Virginia is Black Widows. I've seen, I used to live there. I saw a ton of them living in sheds. Yeah, I used, to, like I used to live on a mountain in the middle of nowhere. 
let's stop talking about this in case there's any like arachnophobes watching this stream. I mean, there's gonna be a spider boss. So later. There's spiders in the game. What are you yeah. gonna do? I guess. Yeah. Long story short, for the people out there though, most spiders can't do anything meaningful to you, um, yeah, and most of the few, cases actually. that you hear about are extreme cases. Yep. So just letting you know out there. I also Apparently. live in you know California, and there's a lot of black widows. It's the most common, like dangerous quote unquote spider. Um, I've been bitten by them numerous times. Uh, it's fine. Like, Actually, it, it, it's just uncomfortable. The brown recluse is probably the most dangerous spider in. Uh... Yeah, yes, but it it's is. not as common. Yeah. It, yeah. The problem is like you'll see black widows all the time. I have seen a brown recluse probably one time in thirty years. So. I've never seen one. If you live in Australia, yeah. you're not afraid of spiders. It's because they're bigger there. If, yeah. if you live in Australia, you're not afraid of anything. Like you That's have true. to. Be. That country has lost a war to birds. Like, they have to be able to handle hardships, you know? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> After the emu overlords moved in, it's just never been the same. Or at least that's what my Australian friends tell me. Yeah, there's a interesting thing with Australia, people in chat could, uh, could say otherwise, that are Australian. But um, they are, as a culture, it's very funny for them to create widespread rumors that are false. <laughs> it's very funny. Yeah, they like I've that. heard about this a lot. They'll just like make up a, a thing that never happened as part of history, and then everybody's like, "That yeah. happened," <laughs> and all of them are just laughing. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, like draw bears being a thing. Yeah, yeah. they They're really like, to like perpetuate the mess myths the other that scare visitors because they know their uh, country's reputation. Um, They're also like the only country that also gets to be its entire own continent. So yeah, that's, pretty that's cool. true. Uh, there's actually, uh, my current favorite audiobook series is Australian. It's from, like, an Australian author, yes. and they have an Australian, uh, guy doing the narration. Heck yeah. It's really good. I'm on, like, book nine. Yeah, that's fantastic. Let's Shout out to that book series. Again. It's called He Who Fights With Monsters, if anybody's interested. <laughs> if anybody likes, oh. uh, lit RPG type stuff. There you go. They might, because they're watching an SAO run. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, very possible. Yeah. I mean, SAO as light novel is basically lit RPG stuff, at least mm -hmm. in a way. Basically, I don't know what the writing style is like. I've not read the light novel. Basic, basically, it's basically lit RPG. If if go. it's got game type mechanics in the story, then it's it's lit RPG. Yeah. There's a, a right. huge chunk of them that are based on like. Uh, MMO, VR MMO games nowadays, so. Mm -hmm. If a guy goes status, and a status appears in front of a screen, you have like a 70% chance that it is. Yeah. <laughs> now hoping you can uh, one-shot him. Oh, I pulled it off. Oh, nice. It's done. Uh, I don't know. Aha. Oh, barely in time. Eat it, Radiant Cedar. Yeah, he's resistant to Slash. It's okay, he's not resistant to two stacks of blue. Yes. Yeah. Um, nothing is really resistant to two stacks of bleed. Good time. Indeed. Alright guys, we've felled the spiders. We are now almost five minutes ahead. You can come out of your trapdoors now. Yeah. We somehow <laughs> keep getting time back. Yo, saving time? We like saving time. Uh, right? just for speed, I'm gonna save the possible fish. Wow, you didn't pick Xenon. Wow. I would I'm have. Excited. I also probably so would have picked Straya. Straya's pretty great Yo. too. You should have just taken the time loss. Like a yeah, true gamer. A, yeah. You gotta pick scenes. I had four minutes to give, so I could have. What's funny is if you took the time, right? Lost nobody as long as you didn't bring it up. Nobody would know that that's like inefficient, yeah. so they would just repeat you. Because <laughs> you're world true. record. That's true. But yeah. Now we uh, mentioned it, so. Uh... I know, but I, we didn't do it either. But I'm saying if we never mentioned matter. it and you just went boop 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 scene on. Yeah. And we said, hey, that is that the fastest fast method? Blood. You would have been like, yep. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy the world how that changed works. Right then. 
create an alternate timeline. Yeah. We could uh, cut, and then, you know, we could do something really crazy, like cut that part out of the timeline and then move it into the past so we can have things like. I'll tell past, you what, I'll do something past, special past, for you. Past. I'll do something yeah. special for you since we're so far ahead. There we go. That's what I want to hear. It's like what Ebony Zero did for us. He just let us have Brick all the time. Yeah. Which is a fantastic choice. I agree. Yeah. I also like that when you enter a new room, you like stop walking and then slide for like a quarter <laughs> yeah. of a second. Yeah, it's because uh, the movement speed that I have uh, stacked up on, on Rick here uh, is just that fast. Mm -hmm. Or like, even though he's just walking at what seems to be a normal pace, uh, he's moving so fast that he cannot stop on a dime. It'd be pretty cool if Hollow Realization had a uh, had an NG+, plus, but it doesn't really. The closest we could possibly get, I guess, is like, somehow if we like, hack the save to be like, max level and like, good yeah. gear and stuff. They, the New Game Plus wasn't really that great on the Vita version for this. Um, so like, I guess after that they were just like, ah, we'll just not do it, and then people were annoyed that they didn't include it in Hollow Realization, so they were like, okay, I guess we'll put it back. <laughs> yeah, I think in Hollow Realization, in Hollow Realization, and in the case of a couple other games, they usually, I guess they 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 either decide ahead of time that they're going to do a lot of content DLC, in which case they won't really do New Game Plus. Um, or they will just, you know, decide, oh, this probably won't have that much, you know, DLC content, and then they switch back. Because at least that's what it felt like to me going uh, forward, because that game got a lot of quote-unquote, like, patch support. Yeah. And if the game launched with uh, New Game Plus, that would have made it impossibly hard. Uh... Not really, but you know, for that time, it would have been much harder for the devs than just like uh, what they did. And then the same kind of for Alicization Licorice, where they just just add content. Um, and break after our the load fact. removers. <laughs> I just break our load removers, yeah. That did happen several times. <laughs> I think oh, well. it's still not fixed. It yeah, is correct. not. That is correct. Out. I haven't had time. <laughs> I've been doing other stuff. I mean, I haven't played at the least. I mean, I, I know chapter one out of my head, but it's it's like, I, I, I really haven't played it in so long. Mm -hmm. I haven't, yeah, I, I haven't ever beaten like Lost Song or, uh... Oh, same. Yeah, I don't actually Lost like Song Lost is Song. Lost Song is just, is crap. I don't think it's bad, necessarily. It doesn't, like, bad. this game feels better than Lost Song, and that's saying so something. My, the thing I don't like about Lost Song is that the hits don't feel that impactful, but also, there's a CG of Glass's Catgirl Xenon in that game, which is the most powerful possible Xenon, so I have to give it respect for that. You seem like the type of guy who would use a Xenon deck in, uh, in Weiss Schwartz. Uh, no, I don't play Weiss Schwartz, because I have taste. That's fair. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Card games are cool. Um, no, I have, no, I have no a card games are cool. Somewhere. It's just white short sucks. No, I have, I have a Vocaloid yeah, white short deck sucks. actually. I also um, had a Vocaloid deck. I've never used it because I've never met anyone else in real life who plays. But um, yeah, I have, it I have a deck. Um, <laughs> I have like I have a bunch of Magic cards that I don't use. I, have I, I some play Digimon. Digimon cards that I don't use. I play um, the, the new I, Digimon TCG. So. Oh yeah, the new Digimon one's kind of neat. I don't have any of those though because I, I don't know if it's like that now, but for a while they were all, like crazy expensive. Uh, it's not like that anymore. They fixed the um, the issues with uh, the supply line because there were people like, just buying it. Just a bit. Yeah, they were they were like ten bucks for a pack, and I was like, no, no, thank you. It's like ten cards for ten dollars. I'm like, most of these cards are worth less than a dollar. Yeah. People were buying them up to scalp it. But a lot of yeah. the, even like good cards in that game are cheap as long as you don't want like the alternate arts or whatever. Yeah. So that's yeah. kind of neat. I wonder which um, of these is the special monster. Me the, too. The glowing totally purple one. one. No, uh, it's the normal one next up. True. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's what NM stands for normal. It's monster. this crab. This crab is the special yeah, monster. Yeah, that was the real one. Um. um 
Yeah, I don't know. We're, we're thinking about um, fixing and, and modifying, or like a, not fixing, fixing, but you know what I mean? Like adding categories maybe through the use of a modification to things like alicization, but Fatal Bullet we attempted at uh, to kind of do much, but not much came from it. Yeah, we yeah. tried to, uh, the game has like timers before doors open after you kill all the enemies in a room. We were trying to remove those timers so the door could just instantly open, but we didn't really make any headway, unfortunately. It's very difficult to test. Yeah, yeah the game's fairly expensive, uh, and so I was remoting to do it. Uh, and it just took so long to get anywhere, and um, I think it's very plausible. I just don't happen to own it. I'm not going to spend $61, so. I would let you borrow my copy if you wanted. Like, I could put you on my friends and family thing for Steam, and you could just download it and play it while I'm, like, at work as well. Uh, I'm not against the idea. Because hmm. I'm all for uh, furthering the the goal of SAO speedrunning. Do you happen to have, like, most of the games? I have all of them. Okay, so that would be pretty convenient. Like, I've got Licorice, I've got this one, I've got, uh... Lost Song, Fatal Bullet, I've even got the, uh, the Excel World one. Yeah, I had... Christmas. I only have Hollow Realization, so... None though. Yeah. I'm looking forward to the new one, so that'll be cool. I just hope they don't body us frame zero. If they were like, so we cap movement speed at 5% again, I'll be like, they're just killing me. Like, they, this is intentional at this point. They just looked at speedrunners and they said, uh, "Hold on, no, I said I said I was gonna do something special for you." There we go. All right, we got him. Sinan doesn't use bows yet because so this she... is optimal, by the way, for everybody who's watching. That's optimal. Yep. You got to do it. Uh, the optimal. Uh, oddly is... enough, Sinan would actually yeah. be optimal for floor one. Yeah. She's still yeah, optimal. What are you talking about? It's optimal in all routes. Yeah, no, no Sinan's, it... Sinan's the best. No, but for her to be really optimal, you have to go through all her story quests, and that is the best way. First, go through all her story quests so that she unlocks bow, and then use her. That's and the most optimal useful. way. Because her yeah. DPS is off the off the charts when she uses bow. Yeah, except that she now barely knows how to use a bow, so she mostly uses dagger. So uh, for the really optimal strat, first go through all her story. <laughs> Don't skip it, because if you don't read it, she will learn it less. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, for legal reasons, I must know that this is a joke. Legal reasons? <laughs> yeah, the lawyer's on you, you know. Yes, actually, I, I have to mention this for legal reasons, otherwise I wouldn't. Yeah, he's a game developer of this game, so he can't lie about it. That would be a problem. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Yep. Yep, uh, I'm also the person who said to the team, Hey guys, uh, add Rick as an extra playable character. Yeah. Uh, despite the fact character. that I went back to pick Xenon, uh, we are now six minutes out. That, <laughs> it's because we saved time on Xenon. Yeah. So it's not despite. Uh, tower it's guard, wizard. Including. Yeah. Yo. Ten. Ten. Yeah. Yeah. This. this one is a two cycle. Yeah. But if I'm think if this is the floor I think it is, it's an annoying two cycle. So we'll probably just stay in that area till they respawn. Yeah. I think I know which one you're talking about. Is there another um game Cthulhu uh, SAO game beside this one that you're like really interested in? I mean, I was interested in Fatal Bullet. Gotcha, uh, gotcha. But like, at this point, the time is so low that like it's not really that competitive. I don't feel like. I feel what you mean, yeah. It, it requires you to be like the, the top best percentile, the best. and it's all about just like, ah, did I fall one time? Sad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, if you're and I'm also really bad at using the uh, the grapple hook thing. Hmm. Yeah. Even even like casually, I'm really bad at it. 
Uh, yeah, this is the one that I was thinking it is. So we're probably gonna stay in this building until we've cleared out our quest. Uh, and go through every bit of so we have to kill ten of these things, and there aren't ten in the building. There are eight, I think. Six or eight, order. And then with the paladin, you can just as well kill that one and then hit him on the way back. But yep, nine, eight, eight plus one. No, eight. That one doesn't count as a lizard man older. I know, that's the plus one. I wish. I and wish now the first one small. most likely has respawned. Be cool if you counted as two so that you had a full set. Yeah, no, <laughs> this game doesn't do that for you. It's very rare where you can get a one cycle. Only yeah. like the first floors and gathering quests, there is a chance for a one cycle. Intentional griefing by the game. Yeah, there's actually. Oh god. You probably don't know this yet, but there is actually a floor where there's an enemy there's only one instance of, and you need to kill it five times. That's Including good, response. And Both we don't know how response work. Because it is not in game time. It's uh, real time, I think. Yeah, because like, you can go and rest at an inn and then come back out and it's still not respawn. Yeah. Well, it could just be a timer at that point. Yeah. Like, like, you know, like a back-end timer. Yeah, but then it's based off of real time, so we can't really do anything about it. Come on, respawn. Well, I mean, I think, I mean, maybe loads, loading areas might be able to slow it down if you were yeah. to constantly like walk back and forth through it. So then, at that point, it would just be a normal timer, not a in a real time. Uh, no, because it doesn't. It move. It doesn't respawn any faster if you're switching between areas. Does pause in this game? Normally stop the game. There is no pause. No, it doesn't. It's yeah. Most of these SO games do this, but I was just curious. I think the first ones respawned in like because this I think one, one back. That first one, I thought. That is the first. One. Yeah, no, this is where the first one is. Uh, all right. We're just waiting. Like it's it's. We could go out and do the other one side and then come in here and kill one. Might be a little bit faster. Yeah. Let's just do that. I don't know if the one outside also counts. It doesn't. It doesn't have the uh, exclamation point above its head. Yeah, I didn't see that when you went in. Yeah, all right. Collision on, this uses... on this area is very finicky. Yeah. If this uses real life, like, cycle chunks, then wouldn't it be, like, really breakable? Alright. I might need to kill Because they... That's done. They like to block... Or, or my brain, um, like, if you turn off the game, they respawn instantly or they don't? I have no idea. I haven't tried it. But this hmm. game takes a while to load, so. And it doesn't, it doesn't save where you are. It yeah. saves on your last spawn in from the. Yeah. So every area you load in, it saves. Yeah, that's pretty common. And, and logging out or whatever and logging back in doesn't do it. Uh, well, you, you can't, can't you out. can't log out without going back to town and going to the inn. You can't go to the oh, menu without that because it's like they have exit the desktop in the menu and that's it. You'd have to close the game completely. Understandable. Because the log out doesn't work because it's Sword Art Online. You can't log out. Oh my god. Oh my god, you can't hit that main menu. Sorry, restart the game. 
<laughs> you can. You, you have, have to be ins- in your in your friggin' uh, hotel room. <laughs> your, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think there is one fight where you can use the log out button, and that is the Yuki fight. Does this a game allow two instances of the game to be up at the same time? It does not. Can't wait for the speed run where somebody finds a way to do that and just boot two copies of the game and then <laughs> boot one while they're waiting for the respawn switch and then close the other one. <laughs> I think that would be possible if you did the Steam app ID trick. Mm-hmm, probably. I mean, that works for almost every other exploit you could possibly do. That's how we get Cheat Engine running on stuff with anti-cheat. Oops, wait, no, that's a secret. <laughs> now I'm pretty sure everybody knows about that. Uh, it, it has fixes, to uh, there's a lot of anti-cheat stuff that actually stops games from launching at all, uh, for no reason. It just, like, is implemented badly and doesn't work, so. Yeah. Elden Ring was like that at launch, fun fact, for a lot of people. Like me. Reasonable. Any time facts? Um, factoids. Yeah, I feel like, um, yeah, the spawner thing could be solved probably fairly overall easily. Yeah, we just haven't looked into we don't, that. We don't run no. this game that much. Like, there's not a lot of competition, so, like, I'm not really driven to, to drive the times down until there is. Because I, I... I don't want it to get to the point where it's so optimized that, like, nobody wants to even start trying, you know? And I don't like long runs, so I do have... I do have one long run on this leaderboard, but I swore to never do that again. And uh, I, I'm just keeping busy with the shorter runs on this leaderboard. Mm-hmm. It's like, I, I don't want people to look and be like, Oh man, the game is down to like an hour. I doubt it'll ever be down to an hour. It's impossible. But uh, I don't want people to look at it and be like, Oh, it's down to an hour. Why would I even, why would I even attempt it? Why would I bother? Sure. I do find that that... That happens less than you would think. I had the same thought process when I first started speedrunning, but then I realized that um, there's just like kind of different people, obviously. But like some people are like, they just want to see the game as low as possible. And when it's l- below a certain threshold of time, they are more likely to run it regardless if it's difficult. Um, That's kind of how I am. And I think what's more, what's a bigger impact, and this would be hard on the you guys, for example, as the record holder, and the moderator, uh, but yeah. would be the information. Like if there's a proper guide and guides that overviews what you need to do throughout the any percent, for example, that massively increases the chance that a runner will actually try to play the game. Yep. Cause they're unlikely to just watch your yes. run and then like try to emulate everything you're doing. Cause they don't know why you're doing it. Well, any percent's just a long category. I. Well, I just used any percent as an example. Yeah. But yeah. Any percent uh, is like 11 hours, I think. Yeah. If you do a guide in general, like that, that's more likely to help anybody, regardless of if your run is like down or not. Because the reality is people generally can't tell how, like, especially in a game like this, they generally can't tell how like um melted down a run is. They can tell in like fighting games usually, because it's like, the type of game where it's really easy to tell yeah. but for a game like this it's hard for them to look at it and be like is that the fastest couldn't you have done this you know like they don't know until they play the game uh so usually they won't notice they they will potentially play the game once realize they have a time of like nine hours and be like whoa this time is really good but it takes them doing an attempt first neat Because that, that happened to me for Power Warriors 4 as well. I had a lot of people try times. They're like, oh, like, I think your time's pretty good. And then they did it and they're like, oh, crazy. This is actually really hard. Because, um, like, the visualness of the game implies that it's a little easier than it looks. Th- this is one of those games, too, where if you just look at it, you're like, is that really the fastest? Is this in a cutscene? <laughs> Ooh, that does good damage. The arcana skill gets off. Uh, yeah, but this bo- this boss is annoying. Cause he's the w- he's they one that uh, keeps back back stepping away from you to get out of your range. But luckily, you got the arcana skill fully off. He got stunned, so the arcana skill wrecked him. So yep. I did want to say, uh, sorry, Cthulhu. Yeah. Um, 
what you what you described not wanting to happen is actually what got me into Hollow Realization. Oh. Um, uh -huh. There was a run by a Japanese runner, uh, Stall or Saint All or whatever. I don't know how to pronounce his name because I've never talked to him. St um, underscore L O. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Um, and he's like, I, I well, I they. I, I guess I don't know. I assume he. Um. Uh has like a really really good or well executed run um and i saw it and i was like i bet like the route looked pretty good but i was like i don't know if this is really like as fast as it could be and i i showed it to nylon and i was like i think we can beat this um and then we did that's yeah. right it took us a while but we did come up with a route to beat it so yeah it just changes the mentality so like there are I like to specify that like there's runner runners that grind that are the grindstone runners they get into a game and they just drill it down as far as they can handle mentally and physically and then they're like there's where it is and they, that's what they do and they're not that much into routing the game they just go as hard as they can there's routing people like myself in art for example where we might go into a game and go hmm is this the fastest thing and then we try to create different pathways to get to the fastest ending and yep. that generally is the way you crack potential like drilled down times is that you find a different route because then it doesn't matter that the time's drilled because it's drilled at the old route. Yeah. Um, and then the third, which is like people who are just like we call them hit and run runners, where or hit and runners where they just go in and they see like a free record or basically like. They just want to be on the board, period, and they just drop one time and leave. <laughs> and... Uh, well, that was me. The leaderboard was pretty empty before I showed up <laughs> for this yeah, but, but, but you stayed to a degree. So, like, hit and runners usually just have like 150 games on their leaderboard account. They just play a game just for the sake of I've played that game in a speedrun before, and I've speedrun that game before, and then they just kind of move on. I generally as a router I deal with these people like a relatively high amount of time because they'll ask me a bunch of questions and either A don't do the run at all or do the run mm -hmm. and then leave and never come back. Yeah. To be fair, St. All his route their route was pretty good. I'd say it's like a seven out of ten route. Um like the the main difference is like the intensity curve and like the the player character power curve. He spent more time at the beginning ramping up and didn't advance much after that like any more than you would normally playing the game whereas we like take some like minor power losses to get time saves early on because we managed to find ways to work around that a little bit better uh which is riskier it's significantly riskier in the late game uh we can die in one hit to the final boss if it uses certain attacks mm -hmm. um but i think theoretically with the with the current route that has been used in a run, probably somewhere close to uh, an RTA about 8 to 10 minutes faster than that time is pretty doable. Uh, 15 minutes faster is like really hard, but maybe. And then we've got like other skips that haven't been implemented yet, and skips that I actually put a bounty up on finding. Um, so. Yep. Um, as for why I'm a routing type speedrunner, it's because I'm bad at video games, so I need to use my brain to make up for my crappy hands. I mean, aren't we all bad at video games, but we're just doing good? No. Oh. <laughs> no, it's, it's uh... weird, like, in my IRL friend group, I'm probably tied for the best overall at video games of one other person. And there's like significant gaps besides that. But when I hang out with speedrun, it was like, oh, you guys are like really good at these games. Wow, that was weird. It's like the oh inverted God. kind of. Yeah, my I'm, friend just, I'm just good really at strategy. Ah, uh, okay. I forgot. I have to go hit a switch in this area. Yep. I, I, even in my friend group, I'm not even the best. Oh, I'm terrible at games. Can't you tell? No. I don't know this game. You're Rick. <laughs> you, you're doing something right this way yep it is this way yay metroid door
Me and my posse. I'm just running. I've actually started taking like notes on a route for this uh, that I am hoping to post. Um, it'll also be helpful to me because I can never remember the layouts. Same. In this um, game, at least. Yeah. It's, it's just too many. And none of them are straightforward. Except for the spiral one. But that's like one yeah. out of 25. Yeah. You also have some on like floor 96 where you have to do uh, some trivia questions. Yeah. Uh, that's the one with the crystal. Teleport crystals, right? Yep. Yep. Uh, I and, think uh, I have to go just... off to a side path here too. I think here you can just... Oh, the wrong way. Or you went the correct way, but a little, a little bit too fast. But no missile drops. Yeah, you Very might silly. have to. Uh, you might have to farm a couple enemies for missile drops for the boss. You need like three supers for it, I think. I've never seen a like a super Metroid speed run either. I never <laughs> played that game. I'm destroying I, I all of my speed run cred in this commentary. Did it's you know fine. in um, Metroid Prime the like a remade version of it? Yeah, the Switch one. Oh, not that. Well, I mean, it's also probably on that, but I have no clue. I mean, the Wii one. Okay, the Wii one, sure. Um, in that version, because uh, Metroid Prime 1 and 2 didn't initially have some of the features that were in Metroid Prime, like, 3 or whatever, um, when you jump in the air and, like, go to pull out missile, you can just fire them without any stop. So it's literally, like, rapid-fire missiles. You're shooting them like a machine gun. Ah, uh, great. So in that game, you, like, jump, aim, and, like, <laughs> boss dies. It's great. Thought it'd be a funny little aha. Uh -huh. Alright, there goes the name monster. Which means all we gotta do is find the boss room and we're good to go for this floor. Yep, and the boss room is right here. Uh there will the come a, there will come the a time bumps. later on in the run where we won't have to get quests anymore. Uh, yep. there, there's just a, a cutoff point where the floor, where one of the floors just stops needing quests. I'm pretty sure it's floor 97. And yep. instead, you have to kill two named monsters on the floor. And uh, after that, floor 98 and 99 do not require you to do, uh, I think quests, do, they do not require you to do quests. Yes. I think you still have to kill a named monster, though. 98? I think so. 99 nuts. No, 99 is a boss rush. And then 100 is just the final boss only. Because mm -hmm. 99, they just send like... 7 of the 25 bosses you fought before this. Against you. In a row. Yeah. Oh, this guy big, he chunky. He is chunky. This is also the uh, 99th final four boss of the boss rush, but then a reskin. Oh, is that, uh, is that, uh, Ludwig the Holy Blade Bloodborne? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He can stun lock with, you. But with armor hurt. this time? Yeah. That's super cool. I didn't know they had a Bloodborne boss in this game. <laughs> Yeah, they seem to be the future. Very good stun, and... No, they came out the same year. It's a slash, but... Right? Uh... 2014. No. Was 2014, right? Nope. 
this game actually this is part of the infinity moment part of the game. So Oh wow that's actually at least an infinity moment. To be fair, the Moonlight Great Sword has existed since PS1 Kingsfield? Yeah. Kingsfield, yeah. Let me look up on infinity moment. So On March 14th, 2013. Yeah. Well, Bloodborne would have been in development. Bloodborne was in development when Dark Souls 2 was. Yeah. But if this was He's first, that means this there's, boss. A, there's a sword art <laughs> boss in Bloodborne. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they just took off his armor. Ruler of Blades SAO in Bloodborne? <laughs> yeah. Fur fever. Yep. Just, uh, you can immediately turn it in. Mm -hmm. There aren't that many quests where you're required to kill a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Uh, but the ones that do exist are annoying. Are annoying. <laughs> Really annoying. Especially, like, because the last quest you have to turn in is, uh, is one where you have to kill enemies. And it's the one where you have to kill it five times and there's only one instance of it. Yeah. I don't know. I actually think this game is pretty big for like an older game. Yeah. It's uh, it's fairly chunky. I assume yeah. there's a lot of like resource reuse to that end. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. But... Uh. Still. Well, it's because there's like, excuse me, a limitation on how much story like. So if it was a PSP game, what's the size of the memory stick on those things that you can typically buy? Let me look it up. I don't remember. I have, like, a special one. I had a hacked one with, uh, with one of the one of the memory sticks that held two micro SD cards. Yeah, same. I believe originally they were 32 gubs. It is, in fact, pronounced gubs. Ah. The more you so, know. I don't know how big the game is. But, uh, fun oh, fact, it's this about one. As much... Ugh. In case, uh, in case you ever need something to complain about with modern consoles, remember, kids, the Switch has the same amount of storage space as a PSP memory stick. That's actually very <laughs> bad. It's it's certainly interesting. Oh, I don't remember which one it is. It's funny, you can see her uh, up here, if you're looking the right way. Yeah. When you when you step on the pad, like, watch for it, it's hilarious. She just kind of appears out of nowhere. There it is. Yeah. She just kind of appears. <laughs> I like the fact that she also ignores Kirito, despite the fact that she can obviously hear him before she walks off onto the teleporter. And then, uh, just lose some property, and then, uh, yeah. after that... It's so, funny uh, that she loses a little bit of property every time she enters one of them. <laughs> yeah. She just drops, like, a penny on the ground, and Rick's just like, and I better give this back to her. Yep. And also, she's extremely cold, even though... You're considered a famous player. Except you don't actually give them back to her. You get them from her. Wow. Yeah, she gives them to you. Because they're needed for this floor. Also, this leads to something. <coughs> it's gank squad time. Yep. The Griffin Black Knight combo. 
Oh, you mean we've got more Dark Souls bosses? That's crazy. I mean, it's just, just a common enemy, yeah. I think if they make a Dark Souls 4, Rick should be the final boss, and he should be completely unbeatable. Just like Kodor Fader in the... Jedi... Fallen Order, I think? Yeah, Fallen Order. Uh, I've, never I've never played that one. I mean, I can't say I have, but... I own it! I've played it for, like, I think 20 minutes. Yo, 20 know. minutes? That means you probably beat it, right? Because you're a speedrunner. No. Oh. Well, I mean, it, you understand. It, it well, maybe, you, maybe you didn't know the route yet, so... I don't actually know how long the speedrun for that game Neither is. Neither do I. Let's look it up. Alright, we're just gonna do any percent PC unrestricted. Oh, I'm I'm reading this a little late. Um, so Dawn Feathers says, uh, you you all talked about guides. Would it be relatively easy to convert notes to guides, or is most of the info just intuition? Um it would be pretty easy to like the notes would basically just be the guide, the way that I'm doing them. I think um, maps would probably be beneficial if you had maps that you could like capture from the game. To yeah. show how to get uh, yeah, and then like kind of draw on everything. them with like a red line, so they yeah. know what way to go. And That'd where like easy. if you have to kill like certain targeted enemies or whatever with little green exclamation points. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I could see that. That'd probably helpful. be beneficial. Uh, I will That's probably great. be working on that at some point. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's not it's not too bad to make maps. Just mess around in GIMP or Photoshop or something. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I did that for One Piece tricky. Odyssey early on. But if the game doesn't let you see I the whole map at once, then it gets weird. I watched One Piece Odyssey yeah. that first, yeah. the first day. Yeah. Because I asked for oh, this oh. whole week off so I could do this. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Odyssey's Odyssey's really cool. Oh, I'm really. It made me want to play game. Odyssey because uh, it's it seems a lot like the. Uh, the fairy tale RPG that came out. A um, bit, yeah. Yeah, I think it's I think it's better, uh, mostly by virtue of the fact, as a speedrun anyway, by virtue of the fact that auto battle is not optimal, because <laughs> the the fairy tale speed uh, RPG speedrun is literally just auto battle the whole game, and it's like. Uh, <laughs> isn't that the, isn't weird. isn't it the same for um, Final Fantasy XII? Where, um, where auto battle is is. Technically, that's a built-in game mechanic, and you can make auto battle do lots of different things, and you control what auto battle means. That's fair. Because um, that's yeah. how the game works. So it's there's still like Final Fantasy XII is a programming game dis disguised as a JRPG. That's why I don't um, like. It. Well, I can't say I don't like it. I played the uh, the randomizer a while Yo. back on stream. Back yeah. when I was when I was streaming a lot more. Yeah. You you I already mean, did oh, it. Yeah, I already did it. You're right. I'm a programmer, like, so that, that kind of thing is, like, my thing, so I like the game a lot. I'd, I'd also game. like to say that, like, prior to that, not counting 11, right, they were turn-based games, and then some of them were trying to do, you know, ATBs and etc., like in older games. And, like, in a weird way, it's real-time ATB where you can't slow it down, and yeah. then you're programming while it's doing that. <laughs> Well, you like, pause the game to program. Yeah, I know you can pause it to program it, but I'm just saying like it's similar to where the game like FF7 or whatever will pause when you're in a selection of spells. Like it's not sure. super far off from that idea is what I was getting at. Yeah, 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 that's true. Um, the difference is that your characters are swinging while you're not interacting with the ATB, whereas with ATB, if you're not pressing a macro speed, like you're just die, you're losing DPS, you're, you're playing bad. Yeah. But uh, the, so ran the randomizer for the, the re-release of 12 that's like on Steam, it's fantastic. Like, uh, I, I, I had a really good time with that. I kind of want to do like a speed run of that where it's like the randomized version. Does the randomizer have seeds? Because that would be easier. It does have you. seeds, yes. Okay. There you go. Yeah, as long as you have a seed, then like it becomes way better. If it's just randomizer, randomizer, it's like, well, I mean, that's for, that's very fun, but <laughs> it's a little <laughs> rude. But if you're like, yeah, the 10th seed or whatever, I love this. But super speed on the Got a super skill up, yeah. Which is nice. 
in our king. Also attempted in the past to make the inverse thing. Games with seeds, but making it so you can choose them. Uh, I did that for one of the Inuyasha games on PlayStation 1. Beautiful fairy tale, I think. And then um, we talked and about doing it for like Dark Cloud. Oh, that's I fast. like Dark Cloud. Dark Cloud 1 and 2 are great. So like, the idea would be to... It was just too weirdly complex due to the nature of what the seeds are called for each dungeon. Yeah. Like, the... The game's really weird with it. I've also been um, playing a lot of uh, Monster Sanctuary, the randomizer in that. Mm. That's a really good game if you guys haven't played that. If you like Monster yeah. Collectors and Metroidvanias, definitely give yeah. it a shot. Yeah, I've played it before. It's pretty fun. They, uh, they actually um, did a free DLC update recently, too. That's that, awesome. That added uh, new relics in that you can get that are like uh, really good equipment, but with like a, uh, I can turn that in with, uh, with like a downside to them. Yeah. Yeah. I get what you mean. Yeah. Like cursed equipment. And other yeah. Like, like uh, stuff. there's, there's like a, a feather. That's a really good crit equipment that can only be used by birds, bird type monsters mm, and gotcha. stuff like that. Um, like it's really neat. I, I've, I've been enjoying that since they did that. Here. Already at the 92nd floor. I apologize if anyone heard any extremely loud beeping a minute ago. Uh, yeah. My, no. my I heard like smoke one beep and then it was done. Yeah, it's because yeah. I hit the mute button. Uh, my smoke alarm uh, battery was. Oh, yeah. oh, I was about Those to say, did your computer catch on fire? Mine no. did. <laughs> uh, no. I'm amazingly. Actually, when I first built my computer, funny story. So. I knew a decent amount about computers uh, in most areas, except for the importance of cooling. Um, so at the time, the best uh, Intel processor you could get was the i9-10900K. And I was like, well, I don't have enough processing power to run the software that I need. So let's just get the, let's just throw money at the problem. Let's get the nicest processor that I can. Uh, that isn't like some crazy Threadripper thing, which I can't afford. Um, and we'll just, you know, we'll get that and everything will be fine, right? So I get this processor, I put my PC together. Um, and then I'm like, well, wait a minute, why am I dropping so many frames on stuff? Um, and then I installed like Hardware Info 64 or whatever that software is called that people use for monitoring. It's like, yeah, your, your uh, CPU is running at like 98 Celsius, like at all times. Ooh. I'm like, huh, that's interesting. I don't think that's how that's supposed to work. Um, and it was like this for a good month and a half. Um, so I talked to, um, one of my friends, uh, who does, who's like worked with that kind of stuff before. He was like, yeah, um, maybe don't do that. So then I bought like an actual freaking cooler. I have like a Noctua in HD 15 now. Um, I mean, that's, that's fair. Cause like, you know, building a computer in itself isn't thermodynamics. So yeah, <laughs> there's a different, uh, sciences people. No, but, but um, I yeah. I bought a case that's like sensible. It does have airflow. I didn't buy one of those mm -hmm. glass like coaster boxes. I just didn't have great. a good enough CPU cooler. <laughs> the one I have now yeah. is a heat sink, like half the size of my head. It's actually pretty horrifying. Yeah, I, I actually have one with a tempered glass side, so like I can't see shit. Well, tempered glass on the side's fine. It's just like there are some with a glass front panel, and it's like, well, you want this to be like mesh. Mesh front panel is the way to go because you can get more intake. So this is the only instance in which an enemy runs away and gets away, and then you have to fight it again later. Oh. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, um, also the area boss of the holo area. The final boss does that as well. Oh, yeah. Hollow Kirito? No, 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 no. The, that uh, bug thing. Oh, the bug we, thing, yeah. We struggled with, with the co-op run. Yeah. We actually did make a co-op run for this. That's... Uh, just a boss rush of the huh? the multiplayer how does that work of the multiplayer uh fights For, somehow it put me behind the uh the yeah it put I you behind to... the loading so. yeah yeah it's weird wacky this, this is like the third crazy. new thing that's happened to me like this never happens when i'm running this game and then it just happens right now well sure i've never seen that before it's like you always hear that in marathons Nothing new. And then we Business as usual. 
kill the thing that ran away for the second time. Done. It's like oh, yeah, that, uh, yeah. that emote that I use that isn't actually my emote, but I use it all the, the little axolotl dancing. Oh, Freaking, I, I love, I, I don't know if you've seen that. I love that emote. It's, uh, from a Sonic Advance, or sorry, sorry Sonic Adventure 2 speedrunner, uh, Wall of Hedera. Um, and it is my favorite emote of all time. It's like a little, mm -hmm. like, dancing happy axolotl. I freaking love axolotls. Um, my profile picture is the axolotl I would have if I could have one. Anthropomorphized. Um, Rick's regen is actually strong enough to not care about bleed. That's pretty based. Um, but that yeah, axolotl. Bleed would be enough, though. And that's my TED talk. I mean, axolotls are just based in general, so like... Yeah, they're, they're, it's my... Yeah, it's ah, TED crap. Talk. You, you gotta kill him. It's too big. And, uh, yeah, their box is too big. Yeah, his collidable surface reaches the heavens. He's too thick. By the way, you don't have to kill this thing. I yep. always yeah, why would you have you, to? You yeah. can just run around it. <laughs> yeah, you just complete the extra quest if you do it. But you know, we don't care about that item. Actually, that's that just loses time even more than killing it would. It, by completing the quest, like it puts you in like a, a stupid little cutscene that you have to watch. Yeah, but the item is pretty good. Yeah, but you don't but care you about that in New Game Plus. No, that's why it's average and normal. Might be uh, useful. Nah. <laughs> the next quest is no, Meat no. Lover's Quest. So we're gonna have uh, to find a pizza all about for pizzas. somebody. Yeah. Yes. Wait, that's the quest that. Uh... That's the one I had to go farm the thing for, yeah. Yep. Because the original save file for this didn't have any of it. So I went and I farmed no like, pizza like 20 of it. Yeah. It's boar meat that you have to go farm. So I just popped a bunch of uh, luck potions and ran off and killed a bunch yep. of boars. Indeed. And as you can tell, Rick has been eating the excess that we don't need for the run. Oh, no. Yeah. He's being efficient, so there's no waste in the server. Our first Indeed. dragon boss. Well, right, because we had we wanted to make sure we had a one bite um, buff list instead of a two bite one. Yeah, so less bites. Rick Rick took the other bites for us. Yeah. You can tell by how big he is. Yes. I am not a lizard. I am in fact a dragon. But dragons are just scary lizards, which means that crocodiles are also dragons. Dragons are just dinosaurs. Unless dragons. you aren't afraid of them. Yeah. I've seen a lot of alligators, actually. I lived in Florida for a brief period. I lived in Florida for like a year. What if you're not scared of the dragon? What makes the dragon then? Uh, then it's just a little bit. Um, but there's, uh, there's a highway in Florida that is colloquially known as Alligator Alley, and that's because there's alligators all along it. They don't usually come into the road because when that happens, they die. Uh, Double bleed. Ooh, they nice. do have like you know tough scales and they're pretty heavy, but cars are heavier, so cars usually win. Um, yeah, but they're I've, that I've seen a lot feel, of That made me feel like a combat uh, reference, like alligator versus car. Car wins. I killed it so fast <laughs> that there was a time loss. Aw. Huh. <laughs> it's weird when that happens, but yeah. It's okay, we're still seven and a half minutes ahead of my PB. Yes. This is a... This sounds like a pretty good run. How much time you save for using Sinon? Probably, yeah. Choice. Sinon saves a lot of time. Yeah, apparently. At, at least ten minutes. Because I saw her using her bow there. Yeah, she's yeah. the second best character in the game after Rick, so... And I think she actually might have the strongest bow in the game. Yep. And she's the only like character said. that can use them, so... Yeah, like I said, second best character after Rick. Yeah. I think y Yuki might actually be better if you give her, like, Externa. Nope. Yeah. Not true. False. False. Alright. True. <laughs> true. I Sinon's must give it to Yuki. But uh, Austin is pretty crap because rapiers in this game are pretty crap. <laughs> That's true. That's too bad. Yeah, like I think the best rapier in the game is the one you get from the dude that uh, makes you one-shot yourself sometimes. 
Yeah. And even that one's not very good. Yeah. The early SAO games were kind of rude to Reapers. Like, and uh, then Alicization came, and it's like, well, the best skill in the game is now a Reaper skill. Reaper skill. What, my yeah. best Aria? Quadruple pain. Uh, mm -hmm. It has, like, no animation, but then it hits a bunch oh, of Oh, man, I wonder if the thing we have to kill is just over that hill. Don't think so. I think you're imagining it. You're getting delusional. Keeps just looking at a giant... Big tower. Also, now Slowly we're gonna... hippogriff. Now we're oh. gonna start to get to the part where we can no longer one shot two health bar monsters. Yeah. Might be. I am using one of the yeah. weakest katanic skills in the game. I know, but it's the. Oh yeah, this is the one with no data. That's right. And why this one? There he is. This is blue. God, dashing feels so bad. Yeah, it's really weird. It should just have like 70% less lag at least. Yeah, like the uh it's the end lag that is annoying. Like the startup lag isn't yeah. that bad. It's just like it takes you forever to actually recover from. Yep. Yeah. Like, watch this. It's just so slow for no reason. Yeah, it's already slower than moving most of the time, pretty much all the time. And then on top of it it's like, well, you're gonna sit here after. Yeah. I don't get it. The only use it has is if, like, you have to get through things. Or, like, you're j you can just... You can dash towards the, uh... The final, like, door, if you're going through it, like the stairway. And if you hit the loading yeah. area before it starts the... The, uh, cooldown situation, then you're good. It, it's faster, yeah. Then. But, like, you actually have to know... Have, like, a good gauge of how far the dash goes, and, uh... That is intuition. And like when, when to tap it, but I don't dash enough to do that. <laughs> yeah. Like I don't, I don't dash enough to know that. So like, bye, Neo Scorpion. See ya. And that's the boss uh, room. Also, a lot of these passageways aren't created equally. Like that Scorpion one was really far from the stairwell. Whereas some of them are like on the stairs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But even if you're trying to like eyeball it, like, oh, I'm going to hit my dash right here. It's like, nope, this one's further back. It's like, well. <laughs> you just got to know it. Another thing to remember in this uh, game where you have to remember under plus things like the maps and etc. Imagine route notes that is literally like floor 97 early, floor 98 normal, <laughs> floor 99. Also the Hard. three uh, <laughs> the three uh, things. So like floor 76 uh, from one to two is far. Floor yep. 76 from two to three is medium. <laughs> uh, we're being all may washing Nani. Nothing personnel in case. Sorry for people Funny with arachnophobia. This isn't an arachnid, it's a crustacean. I got an arachnid. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm trying to help them out. <laughs> it's a lava <laughs> arachnid. It, no, it's, it's a lava it's a, it's a Yeah, it's a lava lobster. Don't worry, guys. Can somebody just put a Minecraft creeper over this? Thank you. It's, it's just a lava Minecraft creeper. Oh, that's not good. I'm gonna target the lag. Ooh. I thought I broke the lag. Oh yeah, this no, one's got multiple, that's right. Yeah. They switch from one to the second. That's a time loss. Oh well. 
it happens. Maybe it's also. Oh, yeah, there's right also. Uh, they can act skill to steal you. So you can't use yeah. your skills. And also, and just uh, add Sinon to uh, your skills. That might also speed it up a little bit. I guess things like good shot lower cooldown and things like, say, do a skill is just nice for some extra damage. I mean, it's NG+, plus, so extra damage is not always needed, but since uh, you placed your ace a little bit too early, it'd be helpful. I am getting some chains off. That's the, like, skill part of uh, the combat in this game, is you can chain sword skills together. Um, but yeah. the timing's really tough, and each, each sword skill has a different timing that you need to chain off of. Right, we defeated the Minecraft Creeper. Your quest this time is to glance upon a petal, which I think is also... Nope. Don't think it is. I wrote this down because... The jacket. Guild... Oh no, this is one where you have to kill two NMs, never mind. Ignore me. Ah! No. That was my no. fault. <laughs> oh no, who the hell are you? It's fine. <laughs> As you can see here, there is much uh, time for improvement. We can improve on this a lot. So maybe if you have the time and you want to try it out. Just, uh, drop by. This is hey, one of the short. This is like the mid-range run for this game. We've got a yeah, couple yeah. of shorter runs, and then we've got the really long ones, and then we've got this one. <laughs> I mean, this one is like on except for the any percent Minecraft. This is the longest, I think. Oh no, not anymore. Not anymore, right? Yeah, not anymore. Uh, no, not anymore. I think, uh, what's the hollow area world record? You're the one who has it. Uh, any percent hollow area? Yeah. Uh, it's 5 hours 40. Yeah, this is slower, so. This is shorter now. Yeah. 30 minutes sh shorter at the time of uh, the world record. Freaking. And then any percent Aincret, which I swore I would never do ever again. True ending. <laughs> because it exists. Polo area, new game. And then the boss rush. Yep. To be fair, I've also sworn off of uh, any percent. Aincret percent. Uh, yeah, once cool. you've run it once, you're good, I think. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That was the first speedrun I ever like, did and posted. And, yeah. Uh, it certainly made me appreciate my time a little bit more. Because <laughs> uh, yeah. when, I, when I did it the first and... time, it was like 11 hours. And for me, it's... Or no, it was like 14 you... hours. I feel like. 14 and a half, I got to 10, uh, 18. And I was like, I'm never going to do this again. But yeah, but I, I mean, I, I like the fact that there are shorter runs, like the boss rush one with your yeah, friends. The boss rush one is fun. I, I enjoyed rush. doing that with you and um, you and Sensei. Got... We also got to do it once, like the two of us. Uh, we need we need a fourth person, so we can fill that part of it. Well, Art, you up for it sometime? Most likely. 
Oh, that's me. Uh, oh no, it's his, it's his uh, fire alarm going off again? Uh, uh, it's something similar, but yeah, he, he just uh, is handling it. No problem. Alright. I was wondering why you guys were so quiet, you're like leaving us by ourselves. Which no, is no, no, yeah. Dangerous. Yeah. I'm not very good at, at uh, filtering my language, I'll be honest. <laughs> it's okay. Hey. I feel you. So, you guys are. How far would you say you are from the ending? We're uh... above 490 out of 100, so it's like. We're over three fourths of the way. Hmm. Yeah, it's, we're on four ninety four out of a hundred. And ninety nine and a hundred are just a boss rush and then another boss rush. Which ends with me bright Noah slapping heat foot. That's actually how this play this calls. Oh. Nope, you uh, it's the other way. I got you baited. I'm very barely touching the right stick. The nimble. But no, it's just the sensitivity is kind of really. I know it's crazy. Fast for some reason, and it's at its lowest setting. The opposite problem yeah. some modern games have. Yeah. I crank it up to max in the other games. I'm like, why does it still turn so slow? This game's like, well, ambush for me to do thing. And the other name monster. Oh, look at the bird. The bird crazy. going crazy. So happy to see me. Yep. I want to know what he's on. Nah, it's a bird from Florida. Bird has haste -ga. Another annoying thing about this game that I'll point out right now is that uh, you're locked out of teleport crystals in a lot of areas. Including here. Yeah, which makes no sense. You should just let me teleport whenever I want. Please. But I, I mean, that's, that's the same in the anime. That's, I've, I'm, most of the time I think that's just crappy game design if you have uh, teleport free areas. Generally agree, yeah, the only type of thing when they do that that I'm like, okay, I kind of understand is um, right. when, like, there's going to be a cutscene, basically, right? Like, you defeat a boss, you have to walk back two areas, and then a cutscene plays where a guy's like, hey, you stop right there. It's like, it makes sense in that case, because obviously you don't want me to sequence break by teleporting. Uh, or if you teleport into an area, it might be, like, a weird spot for the cutscene to trigger, so it just adds yeah. extra work for developers. So in those very specific contexts, I'm like, I get you. You should generally let me just fast travel into the cutscene potentially, or, uh, or yeah, just like let me fast travel right after it's done playing. Yeah, and I also understand it if you're like not allowed to do it during a boss fight. So like yeah. you decided that you go into the boss, so you can't uh, teleport away because you specifically made the choice to go into the boss fight. That's true. So in that, that case, I would also understand it. And in the case that you just uh, said, but next to that, just, I don't get it. 100% agreed. Who is trying to remember? This is one of the windy, annoying areas. Yeah. I remember this one from... When I ran it, I got stuck on this for a little while. Yeah, a lot of tight corridors. Yeah, a lot yeah. of tight corridors, a lot of turning. Can I open this without killing anyone? That's cool. You kind of were uh, thinking you can... Yeah. I, saw it, you I was like, do I have to kill these things? Uh, I don't wanna. They're not hard but to I kill, don't... but I'd rather not. Yeah, because they can make you bleed, and double stack bleeding is kind of overpowered. 
even on you. Yeah. And even on Rick, double bleeding is overpowered. Nanda. Yeah. Nanda. Yeah, because he can only bleed in game, you know. Yeah. Yes. Going with Sinan again because objectively the best character. Hey, she keeps yeah, saving we're me time. Our run. We're still in gold splits right now. <laughs> exactly. Despite the fact that I'm switching to her every time now. Yeah. Yeah, it's because of the thing... time save she gives you for picking her, you know? So it's really yeah. good. One she, I... she also talks the least out of all of the girls when you pick them. I there. guess. This Gundam looks like it's designed, it's based off Unicorn Gun, uh, like Sananju and Unicorn. Uh, Gundam Unicorn. Yeah, a little bit. It's got a very similar head, it's got the gold trim on the red. Gives me that impression pretty heavily. Yeah. The head is just Unicorn Gundam basically, but like the... <laughs> the closed version. Yeah, yeah. non-destroy mode. Oh, it's just a blazing light, I guess. He's on fire. Oh, I hate this skill because it takes a while to load up, but then it does this. Annoying. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh. Oh, well. And he misses. Because he moved away. That's a thing that happens a lot. Even though it didn't look like he moved, uh, he stepped away a little bit. So, uh, Cthulhu missed his, uh, move, or his skill. Yeah, too far, yeah. No, 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 it's not even range. He just. I know, it's invincible. A little bit. Yeah. Basically. Yeah, if he steps to the side during a skill, he's just invincible. Yes, uh, some sword skills have actually incredible range. I know. You just, like, uppercut your sword and, like, the room explodes. You're like, whoa. Yep. Once you get the boss in the lockdown, though, this game doesn't have any, like, prevention of basic thermostunning, stunning basically. Oh, uh, it does. They will eventually yeah. attack you. No, I know, but I mean, like, it's not nearly as severe. Most games will be like, you got stunned, you can't be stunned for, like, the whole fight, or, like, 20 seconds or something. No, no, no. He, he just eventually does a skill which cancels everything, and it's uncancelable. Uncancelable. And then just, uh... And then it just uh, goes on, yeah, like this, but then... Yeah. But then and you just go back on him. Yeah, you can immediately go back and then stun him again. But most of the times he's able to get one thing off. Die to bleed. Yeah. They had, like, stun immunity in this game, it'd be a way scarier game. <laughs> yeah. Especially on uh, any percent. Yeah, you get mopped. Next one should be tickling into Pana Pebble then. Oh yeah, now you have to... Yo. Next floor is the crystal one. If I remember correctly, it's 96. It's not. The... we're on... oh yeah, you're right. It is the crystal one. Crystal times. Uh, you already did it. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah, also the good. one with uh, the ability to one-shot myself. And the hurt. and the one with the the uh, kill a bunch of enemies thing where there's only one instance of it. It's that all on the same floor? Yeah, it's all on the same floor. That floor it's is the worst 96. floor. The floor ninety six is the worst floor. Ninety six. Buckle your seatbelt, guys, because it's gonna get crazy. At least at least it's late. <laughs> yeah. In late yeah. You're not late you're not wrecking yourself early. We're on 95, which means uh, five more floors to uh, go. On this floor, we solve a race war by killing the leaders of both races. <laughs> I remember. It's really funny. Yeah. It's like, how do we find it's like oh man, how do we find eternal peace? And then Kirito is just like, kill the leaders. Kill them all. Both of them. <laughs> both of them. Because then they will work together to kill you. Yep. Like you see here. 
they already suffered it and because this is the NG, so we already been through it like twin two thousand times. They remember it. So they're working together now. Team up. If I remember correctly, I have to go through both exits here. Because one of them is the exit that leads me to the main part, and the other one is the exit that yeah, this leads, is me the main part. The, leads me to the, the NM that I have to kill. All right, so I have to go back. Plus the uh, so. name of the monsters is the other way. Yeah. Uh, you got You're good. You're good. ready. Thankfully, the exits are pretty close to each other. Yeah. Uh, another forest. All I'm these not, forests big... look the same. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of forests. They all well, look the same in the hollow area, too. Yeah. Yeah, it's almost like they had to reuse a lot of the resources in the game for the different areas. Because the game is long enough. They uh, couldn't big get enough. all of it on a, uh, on a UMD. Oh, I, I went too far. Need. I think it's here back. Yeah. Okay, hopefully my uh, apartment doesn't burn down, but it should be okay. It'd be very surprising. I think I would notice it before. Uh... Dang. Yeah. Just, we will just say, if it burns down, it's all for Cthulhu's sake. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure. Like, you seem like a nice guy, Cthulhu, but I'm not sure I'm willing to burn down my apartment. For you, so. That's okay. I, I've had that happen to me before. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. No, it's fine. Uh, it wasn't, it, like, it was our downstairs neighbor's fault. They left their kid alone uh, in the house uh, around, oh, cr around Christmas time when they had their tree up. And he was like, I'm hungry. So he decided to deep fry some hot dogs in like a quart of oil as an eight year old. Hmm. And uh, when the pan caught fire, he tried to carry it out and it lit the Christmas tree on fire and everything was done then. <laughs> wow. That's uh... smart. 2000 IQ kids. Would love to meet him. What? I see something in the chat from Saint of the Past says, Cheers to all the quiet. <laughs> what was that in reference to? All the quiet all the quiet girls out there. Yeah, it might have been in reference to the fact that Xenon has the link, but not the same. Oh, okay. In which case I... But actually really just Xenon, I don't, I don't really... Yeah. Really? You're not... Have you ever watched, uh... Arahi? I don't watch anime. Is there here? Yeah. I haven't watched... I've seen like seven full shows, like ever. Including Sword Art Online? Yeah, I haven't even seen all of Sword Art, because I haven't seen the Alicization Art. Oh, big rip. That's where it starts getting better, again. Yeah. I know. <laughs> but I haven't seen it. I don't... I'm not really the kind of person to sit down and do something uninteractive. Um, I generally like to be, like, I guess, working on something. It doesn't necessarily have to be a game. A lot of the time it's, like, projects, like, uh, like, I like to design games, I like to compose music, stuff like that. I like to feel like I'm making something, or otherwise recreating. I'm not really, um, a watcher or a reader as much as I am a writer or a composer or a, you know. I've actually been working on a yeah. few games for a long time. I had this really stupid idea in my head. Well, I can't program. I'm bad at programming. Like, oh, that makes sense. Because, um, like, I... It's basically learning another language, and I've tried to do that on multiple occasions. Uh, and it never works out. But... Uh, God, these are the worst floors, actually, because of all the doors. <laughs> yeah. I kind of have cheat over. Because I've known how to program for a really long time, and it's actually my job. Yeah, like I um, I can't program, but I've had like this really stupid idea for like a a MOBA that like I was like, oh maybe I'll learn how to how to like program in Roblox so I can try it out in there, see if it's any good. Oh, uh, great, Roblox right? uses Lua, which is 
pretty simple, not too hard to work with. Yeah, but I tried and I couldn't do it. Oh well, I, yeah, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, I don't, I don't know how to anything I'm good at. I don't know how to explain everything that I get good at. Ow! I, don't I have, forgot about like, this door. Ooh, yeah, that was a that, that was, was a the loudest door. door. I gave a um, door. Warning. I have like a like a things kind of learning. Um, it doesn't really. It's not like studying gets me anywhere. I just am where I would be with studying after like hearing some stuff about it because my brain like makes the jumps between the information that like I was the guy. Uh, people, every, a lot of people didn't like me because I wouldn't go to class and then I would still ace all the tests because I just knew all the stuff uh, from like my own time and being able to piece it together. Yeah. Uh, so I don't, I don't know how to explain how to program, unfortunately. My, my head is full of it. useless knowledge. So. Yo, useless knowledge? That's that's gaming. I was an amateur malacologist for a little bit. That's pretty useless. I don't know what that is. <laughs> uh, someone who studies mollusks. Uh huh? I had some snails for a little bit, um, which was also like chemistry because they were aquatic. Fish keeping is basically just chemistry, applied chemistry, I guess. Don't think you have to. But... You do. Sure. You do? Yeah. The door's actually locked here. I remember trying it before. Uh, snails don't live very long, so they don't necessarily make the best pets if you're the kind of person to get attached to them. Unfortunately. Yeah. They live like a year, so. Um, I don't know that I would recommend it if that's the kind of pet owner that you are. I get attached How would you to things name very them? easily. What? How did you name the snails? Uh, Ravi, Tort, and Cappy. They were all named after types of pasta. Great. Because they're because they're shells with squishy stuff on the inside, so they're all types <laughs> of stuffed pasta. You ready? You're right. I already did this. I have time to beat the boss and then go to the worst floor in the game. Indeed. Uh, Any Tizers says, cheers to all the loud doors out there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all the doors in this game are loud. Except yes. the one so, in the hollow area. So cheers to all of those doors. We don't Except discriminate one here. Big one. The Except one for big against one? quiet doors, I guess. Yeah, that one big one in the hollow area. Apparently like once you, you get to this point, yeah. Apparently, once you get to this point, it's just as fast to pick Xenon as it is to pick, uh... Asuna or, uh... Or Yuki. Because Yuki. it's... Mm -hmm. it, it crushes down the thing for some reason. And Xenon's I don't know about right that. at the bottom. I think it's still faster to pick Xenon. And what's this, like, our fifth Minotaur of the fight? Of the run? You got something uh, against Minotaurs? There's no. too many of them in this game. <laughs> Okay, I guess that's fair. I didn't. We didn't say we didn't discriminate against minotaurs, just against door, uh, loud doors. So. Yes. Yeah. Uh, loud doors. Technically, we're not contradicting ourselves, so that's fine. <laughs> also, the loud door thing is funny for the marathon, but you can actually fix it. So. Can it? Can I? Yeah, you just change your volume mixer setting for the game instead of the internal. One. It's already down really low. Sure, but that's what I'm saying. You just lower it as low as possible, 1% or whatever, and then raise it. <laughs> you just like raise the other things in the game to max or whatever, and then just use the volume mixer to lower. Yeah. Well, no, that's the thing, the doors aren't affected by anything but master volume in game. Well, that's what yeah. I'm saying, though, is you use the volume mixer of Windows. Yeah, you would you would leave everything in the game at max and use like if you right click on the little speaker, there's a open volume mixer and then you can change the volume of any individual application on a on a yeah. so, on an OS level. Ah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And that would make doors quiet. But we <laughs> yeah. need the doors to be loud for the marathon because yeah, 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 yeah. That's it's... part of the category requirements. Yeah. Uh, if your yep. doors aren't loud in a submission, it'll get probably get rejected. Yes. Uh, me, me, and Son are both the moderators. Tampering. We will, we will fail it. Yeah. Yep. I don't think he, I don't think they're it. actually gonna do that. I hope not. No. God Maybe. No. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that. That'd be insane. They're like check all your uh, doors. You're like, damn, wasn't high enough on the decibels. Sorry, guys. I mean, I've <laughs> no. made some pretty silly. Uh, limitations on what fate runs are allowed oh. to be accepted.
but I don't actually I mean, enforce them, so it's okay. I mean, I, I play uh, with my sound off, so it's kind of weird if I am. Uh... Like you have to use, uh, you have to use the swimsuit outfits on all characters. <laughs> you don't actually. We don't. We don't make you do that, but. But um, we do. We I'm do, but we don't enforce it. We don't actually care. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, can, yeah. you can do whatever, whatever costume you like. We just think wrong of you. Yeah. Oh, hold on. <laughs> let me let me fix something then. Hopefully, I run into Sinon on the way. Yay, Sinon! Sinon gaming. What's up? Uh, the, well, I'm fixing something because they they were talking about being there on Sinon. You're gonna get her, uh... Oh, I have to buy the white one, you're right. Well, you're not actually... Okay, no, that's just weird. That's weird. Okay, don't don't make it weird, okay. man. Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll continue to run. <laughs> I wasn't... I was talking about fate. I, I moderate, um... Both fate hack and slashes. Ah. I own both um, fate hack and slashes. There you go. Yeah, you should you should run them. We got, we got like, uh, 12 runners for one and 17 for the other, so... Lots of categories with free records. Um, I know this is not the same franchise at all, but if you have those games, feel free to run them. There's plenty of uh, opportunities. Oh no, for free floor records. 97 is the worst floor. Uh, yay. Yay. 96 is fine. Yeah, because you need that, those Reaper drops. Yeah, and I already turned that in, so that's whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I guess, thinking about it, there's kind of like an ecology of speedrunning, isn't there? Um, when you think about the different types of speedrunning mentalities that exist. Because a lot of the time, the first people to hit a game are going to be those hit and runners, right? Yeah. Yes. It's going to be like, oh, there's there's no time here. I'm just going to get a first play as a free record, right? And then there's mm -hmm. like, your, your routers will come in after a lot of the time people like me because that's what i've been doing with uh, umbral star i've just been like well i don't think these side story times are where i want them to be i don't think they're representative of the game i'm gonna push them down uh, so then i would just like run each of them a couple times and try to find out like the optimal pathing for everything optimal combos to use like, in different situations um but i don't really worry about having perfect execution i just want to make sure i have the right idea everywhere uh, so I have probably like six, seven out of ten execution in those, but I'm still saving like eight, ten minutes on the previous records. And then, you know, hypothetically, someone could come in uh, who's gonna like grind the game and like really push those times down by like probably there's probably another minute to be saved on a lot of them uh, from just execution, uh, which is a lot less. But that's the impact of routing. Routing is huge in really the majority of games that. Well, the majority of games in general, honestly. I mean, if you aren't... I guess a way to put it is if you decide to take, like... Say, say you have, like, a split path and you take the wrong path, it doesn't matter how well you execute it, you take a slower path, it could end up taking multiple minutes just because you made a bad decision, no matter how skilled you are at the game. Um, yeah, that a lot. So... It does, uh, it does save a lot of time to, uh, find optimal routes, and routing stuff in hacking is something I enjoy doing a lot. Mm -hmm. I have a question, yep. uh, that I think is kind of funny, but interesting. It's more of a scenario. So, enemies in this game, uh, like, the nightmare enemies, the NM normal monsters. Yeah. They, um, mm -hmm. well, they glow purple. Yeah. Um, imagine if player or creature in a game, would you want to be purple? It like increases your chance of dying like tenfold, but it makes you tougher. Yeah. But I mean, I would say that because as a normal enemy, not everyone is gonna try to uh, grind you. Yeah, that's as what I'm thinking. As a special monster, everyone wants to kill you because they, especially early game, because they think maybe you have a good drop or something. Yeah, so I'm on the side of I just would be a regular monster. Yeah, I'm um, I'm with you there. Yeah, I'd so I'd you be guys a regular think. monster. I my answer depends on a lot of factors, right? So are we assuming that I'm capable of responding after death? Yes. You Does just feel all hurt? the pain. 
Okay, I was gonna, I, that was the second question. <laughs> Does it hurt to die? Yeah. Um, do I keep my real life capabilities as far as like strategic planning and stuff like that? Sure. Yeah. Um, so insofar as that allows me to match better defense than an AI controlled monster would, I think I'd be fine being purple. Because then I could be <laughs> in a position of leadership over my fellow monsters, I guess. And also not be as threatened by players as other purple monsters. So that the only, I mean, so Priority. presumably if I develop a reputation as like the strongest purple monster, because I'm just, you know, I'm not an AI, I'm smarter than the other purple monsters, um, then only the strongest players are even going to attempt to challenge me. And this is assuming there isn't some broken mechanic that everyone right. can actually, like, like, just, trivialize uh, every monster no matter what. Is this kind of hard um, so at is worst, spam iframes? <laughs> yeah, at worst, even in, even if I do have to die and it hurts, I got something out of it. I could probably learn from fighting like really strong players because they'd be the only ones trying to fight me. Everyone else is just going to assume they're going to die because I'd have to feel it. I haven't um, written down. It's good. So that's, right. I think, how I would approach that. I would prefer to be a purple monster. That's yeah. fair. I, I wrote all this down because this is one of the more annoying. Things. I think. You know, I agree with that. And I think as a joke, within this meme situation. If you were just purple monster, you probably just backstep spam. Because if players would get like so mad, they would just leave. Give up, yeah. Um, and then you get a reputation for being like a cheese mob that isn't killable. Yep. Um, but also you have better stats than your fellow monsters. You can just be like, hey, you guys basically have to listen to everything I say. Because we all know that with monsters, whoever's the strongest is the, is essentially gonna be the top of the pecking order, so. Not that I necessarily mm -hmm. want that, but I think I would probably do a better job than, like, some random, you know, goblin, so. Yeah. I'm gonna pick the secret third option. This was not actually a choosable option. I'll That's be a normal a mob, but I will can't... say that I'm allied with the humans, so I can't be attacked. I don't think <laughs> that's... That's that... cheating. That's cheating. Nylon using cheat engine IRL. <laughs> Oh, I, I like this one. Relevant question is, of course, do players also feel pain of dying to you? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> you blur that out so easily. I, well, I mean, that would increase the reputation, though, right? If they lose to me yeah. and they were like, man, I died and that really hurt. I'd be like, heck yeah, it did. Don't fight me again. Leave me alone. The tactics you use are just like torturing like, players. Pain of dying. I'm gonna like, give you a heckin' concern. Just, oh, that's dark. Uh, I don't know if we want the conversation to go that way. Yeah, so we just lock up all players that attempt to attack us. And never let them, uh, die because they would respawn. Yeah, yeah we're, we're just like all their resources back delete, and delete stuff. their account. Yes. No, no. Yeah, they just delete their account. And never fight you yeah, again, because yeah. why would they do that? Yes. Yep, because then they'd you end up in the same situation, delete probably. delete their account. As a as a monster, you delete your account if you kill them. <laughs> yes, Philia. We're gonna get some Philia action. Who? Philia. Oh, you mean not seen on? Well, not not true? seen on, but definitely not seen on. Also true, because not seen on is her own character. Yeah. Yeah. Philia's pretty decent in Fatal Bullet, though. She gets a lot of the same buff skills as Premier. Um, in Hero Quest, she's pretty solid because the weapon she starts with is uh, it's extremely accurate and has a lot of range, but also uh, good DPS on top of that. Most of the high DPS weapons in Hero Quest are pretty short range, like assault rifle type thing. But hers is a sniper rifle, so it can hit like halfway across the map. I think she's probably top five in Hero Quest, but it's been a little bit. Yes, what? Who's the best for hero requests? It depends on the hero. mission. Uh, technically, uh, Fuka Zero is uh, probably the best because of some exploits. Um, you can actually shoot her gravity bomb thing to the other side of the map at the very beginning on the first one and get like a 20 second time, which is not possible with any other character. But I'm not sure that that works in all versions of the game. I've only seen it on PS4. Dang it. Uh -huh. He dodged, yep. Um, other than that, uh, Rick is really, really good. 
Of course. I'm trying to think of yeah. who else. Uh, Yuna is really good. Seven is pretty good. This one doesn't want to stop me. Though. Uh, I know Yuna's definitely better than Seven because Yuna, ha or sorry, Seven has a Gatling, which is like Gatling is like automatic A tier, but you'll never be an S tier because your movement's too slow. Uh -huh. uh, but you have like the fastest kill times. Oh yeah. Um, glad the um, fire movement, so. I am glad the uh, Sao game starting. With, I think semi starting with Alicization have like being able to play as the other characters because then they're them being in your party matters more it's so like yeah it adds so much if you could play yeah. as them in fatal bullet that'd be such a cool game we could literally have categories for every character that'd be sick i would do that and so in alicization like who you put in your party matters a lot not only that but they have unique passives that are extremely hard to grind for they basically yeah. are like max their affinity and then like you can then use their skill on you but, like, until then, and in the course of a speed run, generally speaking, that means that just using them gives them super special cool perks. And I like that idea, so I hope that we see a lot of it in the next game. Too. Which yep. we probably will. Yep. Hey, non zero I really like chance I implement a, uh, a category in Hollow Realization specifically intended to... Uh, copy skills of particular characters. Oh, yep, yeah. here it is for five ruins. It'd be kind of neat. It'd be, the thing yeah. is, it's like, how would you limit that, right? You have to know all the skills that they can learn, and then prevent the player from using anything that isn't on that list. Mm -hmm. Which is too much. Overhead, it's a lot but... to, like, from a moderation perspective, it's a lot. Yeah. Like, I'd do it, I don't mind, but there are two other moderators, and I don't want to uh, make them do give it. Give me one second of quiet. I might one-shot myself here. Right, good luck, good luck, Cthulhu. Praying. R Rick might accidentally kill himself. The only person who can. True. There's like a very slim chance he'll use uh, a st certain skill that means that it uh, it smacks me with my own attack. <laughs> Yep. This is most, mostly uh, just luck. No. Rick is just too strong for himself. Uh, try to immediately use the arcane skill. Maybe that works. Yeah, that'll probably work. I just felt like it might be a, a bit overkill, but he seems to be tankier than I expected. Yeah. Also, I can't remember the... That big thing, the uh, first boss being there. It's there, it's just there's no point in killing it. I just can't remember it being there. Who's that purple haired um, whip using guy in Alicization Icarus that you can play as? Like, he's like a. I Not even the arcane skill one shot him. That's crazy. Wow. Oh, that's enough. What the? Got frozen in time. Yeah. Should be enough. I'm stuck. Huh? Oh. Dude's Dio he over here. <laughs> Maybe he's. I don't know if this case is a random thought, but uh, maybe he's like not allowed to die until his health is one and you hit him. No. Are we going to gonna like, wait, it or are you first going to go for the... I'm probably going to go and come back out here and then wait. Yeah. Hey, what's his name? Is it Mud... I don't remember his name. The purple-haired guy with a whip. In SA. I don't either. The one you fight oh. in uh, right before the dungeons in Chapter 1? Eldria. That's the first time I've one-shot myself in, like, three rounds. No, that's the Intergony Knight. Eldria is Intergony Knight. I'm so sad that I actually one-shot myself there. I can't remember purple. Is it a guy? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, then it's Elder A. That sounds right. Uh... I think... 30 seconds in Tragedy Night, Elder A. You fight him right after you escape the dungeon instead of the cathedral skip. Um... Gosh... 
Alicia. That's right. Does he use a whip in alicization? Yes. Okay. He is that the guy? Only character that uses the whip, which is also playable. Yeah, he's really broken. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, because he has like um, a really unfair passive or whatever in um, that game. Uh. Um. To, like find it but three yeah uh, once again yeah but we're not teamed up with her this time we're getting to the sad part of this game. Because, I uh, mean, most part of this game is sad. Yeah. Uh, Not if you skip all the dialogues. Spoiler alert. Um, Straya becomes the bad guy. Not really, though. She She's like the second to last boss you fight. No, no, no. Entire, but Kirito is then also the bad guy. Because it's the final boss of the Holo arc. Well, no, that's Hollow Kirito. That's different. And it's also Hollow Straya. Yes, but Hollow Straya is actually like Straya's physical body, just hollowfied. Hollow Kirito is a copy of Kirito. So this is Bleach now. But you can also get Straya out, out of there. You can go into the final fight with Straya. Only in New Game Plus. No, also in the original. You just need to go through a quest, which is like called the clearance quest, I think. And then you can uh, free Straya. I haven't which... played the original version of this, so. Yeah, which makes it canon that it's actually not Straya. Wow. Yeah, I played through the game before I speedrun it. <laughs> So we're going to be sitting on this floor for a bit. Yep. Spoiler. Uh. Actually, let's try something. That just also ends the stream. It should have ended the stream. Oh, it, oh, it ends the stream to Discord. I'll, I'll put it back yeah. up. Yeah. Don't worry. He's trying your strategy, Nylon. It'll, no. it'll be faster than sitting there. I don't even think so. Because you did not reload the page. Oh, wait, you did. You did. works. It works? Yep, it works. I'm gonna finish it and then I'll put it back up on Discord. Sick. Sure. And we, we can just say out of this that Nylon is a genius. Yeah. Yeah. Nylon has taken one of the worst uh, waiting points of the game and gotten rid of it for me. Thank you, Nylon. Because <laughs> most of them you can just two cycle, so you go there first, then you go to the boss chamber, and then you come back, finish it up. Yeah, this Which one there is. Bad. This one there is literally only one instance of this monster on this floor, and you have to kill it on this floor. On the yeah. Five times. So. Yeah, five times. Very annoying. But this should save me time.
We just gotta call this nylon resetting. Yeah, this nylon skip. <laughs> yep. The log the log out skip because that's possible in SAO. Try it. Once you're trapped in SAO, the, try the, the ult, log the out. The Alta Four skip because that's more possible in SAO. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's just the logout. It removed out. my logout button, but Alt F4 is still here. <laughs> okay, once I'm back in uh, yeah. 496, we're 76 at all. Thank you. I'm gonna save some time. We're good. It's 497 the one where you have to fight it twice. I think uh, so. Because it's the one where, like, you kill the boss and then Hollow uh, Avatar pops out. Yeah. It's the first uh, spawn of the Hollow yes. after. Going with Straya. Now we're gonna get a cutscene about Straya wanting to join, I think. I accidentally hit Straya, that's fine. I meant to go for Xenon. Oh, no, you don't get it. Yeah, so, um, the skill I was thinking of is called Level-Headed or whatever, uh, for the purple-haired man. Fanatio. Yeah. It says, um... Oh, Fanatio? But that's yeah. a girl. Is it? Okay, my B. <laughs> the second is pretty nice for Natio as a girl. I believe it. It's uh, like a whole plot point that he thinks people are holding back because she's a girl. The hero Eld doesn't because Yuki. Eldry is also really good. Is that the other person you're talking about? Uh, Eldry is the Whipman, yeah. I managed, yeah, okay. I managed it. So, I sorry, I, both of them are really good. I, I, I was referring to Eldrio when I was saying the, uh, the Um, but Fanatio, uh, is, um, increased equipped characters attack every time an attack hits for sets that they miss. And, um, Eldrio is his Prodigy, which is increased attack speed by 20%. Oh yeah, that's actually really good. Yeah, and when you're using something like a whip, it's like really, really nice. But, um, Lisbeth's also good in that game for similar reasons. She has fiery or whatever, which is boost crit rate by 50%. Yeah. And it's like, that's nice. And then, um, I think we tested it in, uh, Rick and Leafa's passives don't stack, but they give 20% experience bonus to the party. Which is but nice. You, but yeah, so you have Rick in there if you want some EXP. Oh no, I guess it's 498 for now. Where it becomes Hollow Avatar. I guess so. Uh, this is like the two towers, which already I think have the. Yeah, because 498 already has the uh, ruby things. Yeah. Well, I don't have to stop getting stop getting quests anymore. So. Which is nice, because there is no more uh, no more intel gathering. I think. Yeah. Which doesn't matter, but on first playthrough, mate. Might get you a bit scared. Because it actually helps out a lot. Going into the whole area again. You also get a couple of really broken characters um, in Chapter 3 of Alicization. Chapter uh, 3. Yeah, like Linnell or whatever. Um, she has Berserker, which uh, doubles her attack, but makes it so she cannot lock on. <laughs> and left lowers or right first, a little bit. Doesn't what, do you, what do you think? Left or right first? Left. Left it is. Would be funny if she went right, to be honest. Is it this freaking oh. Yep. Oh, 
it's because now you can, yeah. I don't, I'm not sure, but I think yeah, it is here as well. Yeah, I was not sure. Yeah, the last few floors love having threats. I think this is the floor where we're gonna fight uh, the eye that shows up on the wall. Could be. Or that might be the next floor up. It's one of the two. Oh, this one. Okay. You ready for me to open a whole lot of chests? Yeah. Yeah, everyone. Because this one, the door only unlocks if you've unlocked every chest on the floor. Yep. Or killed every mimic. Well, both, technically. You have to do both. Because this is like the floor of greed or something like that. I guess. Thankfully, Ukafune is You far can just be fighting. I don't think the door's close when the mimic spawns. They don't, but they do because that one had a mimic and, and bosses. So, or, and monsters. <laughs> don't want to get uh, paralyzed here. Getting yeah. there. Ukafune is a really good uh, skill. Ukafune. This is, uh, yeah, the surprise her. Even though it wasn't a surprise, because it's the only big chest in the game. Yeah. Because special chests are blue. Mm -hmm. There are actually chests in this game that have random stuff in them. Yeah. That spawn after X amount of time. Uh, but those are like only in the hollow area, so. Yeah. I need to fight multiple rounds. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do this again in the other in the other uh, tower. The towers yeah. are basically identical. That are a few differences. The middle tower is the interesting one now. Yeah. Also, you auto it auto teleports me out here, yeah, which is really nice. Yep. Now to the right tower. You just knew that door was gonna close on you. Stun. Get a friendly scroll. Yeah, they just decided to stun me. Well, yeah, also, I was hoping I was fast easy. enough to get there. I was not. You can if you uh, dash at the correct timing. Yeah, the door warnings have just stopped. Oh, oh the trap door. I think the trap wall is in. I didn't know what spawned behind you, but I think it's a spider. It was a spider. It's dead, is what it is. Oh, 
hey, katana. It's where I need spiders. Night creeper. They have loads of creepers. Mm -hmm, they do. Because you already saw them in the movie traps you now. <laughs> because otherwise, no one you would see it coming. Very clever of them. But now back to their old joke. That's just this entire floor. Yep. It's just haha -ha funny we lock you in room. Time six. Oh, here it is. Big, oh. big wall. Big wall Damn. is dead. Two shots. You two shot at the wall. Shinome tune is really good. Yeah. I wish it was AoE. It looks like it would be AoE, but it's not. I mean, if it was, it uh, wouldn't be fair. That's fair. Oh hey, it's like a mini 76 floor boss. Exactly the same <laughs> moves, except that uh, roar that uh, forces you to uh, stop your move. You know? Yeah, I know what that one is. Yeah. This is the f the you know little bit that that Yeah, I hate. This one. Why are you walking? This is a speed run, Rick. Rick is on, way Rick. too chatted to care. Yeah, I hate this. This, uh, Labyrinth. It's also the only labyrinth in the game that's different. You mean yeah. like every time? No, like it's got red walls instead of the gray oh, ones yeah, we've been yeah. dealing with the rest of the game. Yeah, I got you. Which is a nice change of aesthetic. Don't get me wrong there. It's just... Wow. It sure is the dungeon ever designed. It sure is. It is the dungeon of all time. Yep. I really liked that part when you said it's Rick in time and Ricked all over those guys. Yeah, get Ricked on. Earlier he ripped on himself. He ripped up. Yep. I think you gotta go to the other way. I, I gotta get one of something out of one of the chests. Not that one. I think you gotta go the other way. Oh no, it's just back there. I'm just fine. I passed by it. The scorpions running at mock speed is hilarious. It's like uh, Serious Sam 2, the copy protection. It makes an invincible pink scorpion chase you partway through like the second level. Um, and if it touches you, you just instant die. Well, luckily we don't insta die. No, I just love I have. Down a little uh... bit. I have opinions about those kind of practices that I'm not allowed to express in events, but uh, I think that one's pretty clever. Uh, God, there was one that I really liked, but I can't remember what game it was from. I like the ones that are like silly, but they don't like yeah. that's like, that's really too bad. Uh, I liked the one from the what's the game dev tycoon? 
where uh -huh. at one point it it just completely bankrupts you because somebody uh, uh somebody started pirating your games. Yeah. Which like depending on how is that an instant lose or is that like a, it's just like it makes it way harder? It's an instant lose, sadly. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah. Cuz like uh Pokémon Black and White would just prevent your Pokémon from gaining experience and I'm just like that's sick. I want to talking about like pokemon's generally pretty easy that's a way to make it harder like just put that in the game as a mode i want this yeah turn off turn off evs ev gain everything has uh either max or zero or like some default value for ivs just remove the randomness and then make my stats not good and make me come up with strategies to work around them that'd be kind of cool problem yeah is, but the problem uh, is once you hit like a certain threshold you wouldn't be able to kill anything before it killed you um i've routed pokemon emerald for mandatory fights only i've routed it for no experience before a popular youtuber did like four years before i just never ran it because i only had a crappy laptop that couldn't uh record and play a gba emulator at the same time but yeah it's it's actually quite doable in most of the games uh, i mean there's strats that work at like level five but um Ah, oh, shoot. So, for example, uh, the strat for Watson, you just get a Geodude. You can only get, like, a level 12 Geodude, but you, and you have to fight Magnetons, right? Which are, like, resistant to rock. Uh, not ground, obviously, but you don't have Magnitude yet. So, what you end up having to do, actually, is rollout spam, because you can learn rollout early from a hiker in Mauville Town, I think? Or he's off to the side or something? Um, and you can just roll out on Watson, and you can win if they all hit. I mean, it's a little bit RNG, because rollout always is, but... Um, and all of my strats assumed max IVs on my opponents and zero on mine. You can actually solo, like, half the Elite Four with, like, all the 35 Tentic rule. It's crazy. So this is our second Dragon Boss of the run. Yeah, we will be seeing him again gone. soon enough. Mm -hmm. Because he's in the boss rush on the next floor. Maybe. Our base is going good. I think you're a little up on time. So, as you can see here, now Katana is starting uh, to it's fall apart. But... Yeah. So th this is where a theory of mine comes in, where dual building from this point on would be better. But I don't know if it's worth it to switch at that point. We'll try it, though. Why not? Uh, I guess. Oh, you don't have the other one. You only have the extraneous. Ah, uh, never mind. Yeah, never mind then. Then Katana's. You need uh, Ragnarok, which I have some in my storage. I just can't take them out because I haven't. Yeah. Because we, we switched to Katana. Indeed. And for some reason, you have like a limited amount of storage space in this game. Like in your inventory, oh. I mean. Yeah. Which, yeah, it's, it's like uh, an idea that's kind of from this boss fight is just better on. Oh, here comes the hollow fight. Yep. It's, it's just that Katana is getting worse because there are less grouped enemies, and Katana is great at dealing with grouped enemies. There are actually none after or before this boss fight begins. So after the dungeon, there are none uh, of the enemies anymore. But we can uh, check that out maybe another time.
And he's gone. Now if we just go to floor 9 9 and we just walk out, he can immediately start a... The boss rush? Yep. Yeah, you only need to walk into the labyrinth. And you can note here, there are four floors. Which means four bosses. So there's actually 103 floors. I mean... <laughs> Basically, every every uh, floor has like four chambers. So Which I, I hate this part because you go out there and then they immediately bring you back after you enter the area so that you can go back. To yeah, and enjoy just the boss immediately start it. Yes. Like, just bring the assault team there so I can start it from there. Yeah. Or give the choice to start it immediately. But no, it, like, you take two steps and then it yeets you back to town. Yep. Which, from a consistency point of view, is actually pretty good. Also, I had loads of troubles with Klein dying on his flight in any percent. That's what you get for taking Klein. No, Klein was like uh, one of the random. Uh, he was like Fariki Kazan. Was uh, like one of the helpers. Instead so of. We, uh, used our, we used our. We used our arcane skill there because it instantly kills this thing basically. Uh, but it means we don't get to use it for any other bosses in the boss rush. That's how long the cooldown is. Maybe the last boss if you keep on. Uh, Asking Sinon to do a skill and then nice one. Because that does a percentage of the cooldown. Or of the remaining cooldown. Oh, it's ready back. Interesting to know that it uh, just regenerated. Alright, look who we have here. Let's get it to King. Do these guys have uh, similar health to when you first fought them, or is it uh, they have less health? That makes sense because it's several in a row. Yeah. You know if bosses have like a damage cap on the amount they can take per hit or something? I don't uh, think no, they we have. don't know off the top of the head. Off the top of the head. I would presume there isn't a damage cap because a lot of things just explode. Yeah. Well, there's bosses and then there's like N uh, NMs, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. Named enemies. Yeah, normal, normal monsters. It's like Yu-Gi-Oh, right? You got normal monsters, normal summons, you got, like trivia summons. Yeah. Nice. Ooh. You got like fusion, you got Ixie's materials. I don't actually play Yu-Gi-Oh. You got a Ooh. stuff. Ooh, he got Pendulum some summoning? Any pendulum summoning fans in the chat? Okay. I, uh, I really like liked the season it was from. The season it was from was really good. Which one's that? I've uh, never seen Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've never seen Yu-Gi-Oh either, so... Like I've, I said, I like I've, given, rode... I've given every single season of Yu-Gi-Oh a shot. I like when they were and... riding motorcycles and playing cards at the same time. It's like yep. super good to, for kids to know that you could do that. Yep. Well, yeah, the, very, the bikes had autopilot. Riding. And here he is. It's but... even if they did have autopilot. <laughs> it doesn't even make sense that you would have a card in your hand while the wind is flying at you and you're just trying to place it on your map. No, that's what the that's what the the like there's a holder for that. Yeah, it breaks physics, so it's yeah. fine. I've played like Yu-Gi-Oh in like 
four mile an hour winds, it's already nightmare. <laughs> Ruler of I can't the imagine age. like hundred mile an hour wind or whatever they're playing with. Fun fact, if you didn't know, Yu-Gi-Oh cards are very slightly smaller than uh, Pokemon only They are, it's so they can sell sleeves. That only fit Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Yeah. <laughs> Just so you're at, uh, I am. Thank you for telling me. It's boss paralyzed a lot. Also, uh, there is actually one other card game that uses, uh, or no, a lot of um, board games use Yu-Gi-Oh size cards. Yeah, but that, those make sense to try and save money and fit it in a box usually. Yeah. But Yu-Gi-Oh style box so like, or Yu-Gi-Oh style cards are generally evil because it's like they won't even fit in your deck boxes sometimes because they'll like shimmy around. Yep. And they the need their own dinged sleeves. Up and you don't have sleeves. Granted, yeah. A lot of Yu-Gi-Oh cards are really cheap, so it's like whatever. There's a lot of staple cards that are like forty cents. It's just can't... rude. Yeah, <laughs> but you can't really do that with magic cards because you want like a competent deck most of the time. It's like well, three hundred dollars for standard. Oh, you want a good commander deck? Oh, $4,000. It's like, oh, okay. I guess I'll just proxy everything. Yeah, I just proxy the deck. You just have a deck filled with cardboard sleeves that just have names of cards written on them. <laughs> yeah, I had a really busted Azami Ooh, deck that Harry. no one in my friend group wanted to play against. It was very sad. It always happens to me. I'm like, yeah, I want to optimize my deck. And then everyone's like, it's not fun to play against me. And I'm like, but this is how I have fun. And they're like, yeah. I, I don't. Like, I don't play Magic though. anymore because of a specific couple of friends that kind of took the fun out of it for me. This problem with card games is like their um the quote balance of card games is like disproportionate. Yeah, and in my case, it wasn't even pay to win because we were using proxies. Yeah. Um, but it's just like, well, we don't want to play the way that you're playing, and I'm like, but this is the only way I like playing. The other way takes like two hours to finish a game. I'm like, I want to finish games in like oh, 10 good. minutes, in like 3 turns, because I draw my whole deck and then play a game, a card that makes me win if I draw my whole deck. Yeah, that's Yu-Gi-Oh. Yep. <laughs> I play Magic Mallet, and then I play other banned cards that pull cards from my deck to my hand. I win! Exodia! Obliterate! <laughs> Out of greed or something. That's the only card yeah. I know. So I'm That's... one of I'm one of those nerds that likes to build um Gundam models. Yo, same. I have like and I really want to get the the figureized like Digimon and uh, Yu-Gi-Oh things so that I can like make custom gun gunpla. Uh, yeah, that actually sounds pretty cool. Those parts. One hundred Ruby Palace. I have. Uh... Banshee, Kshatriya, and Cubile, like, sitting right behind me right now. Uh, I have Altazen and Altazen knocked, sitting in boxes waiting to be built. That's pretty cool. And I've got a Guest Penced coming at some point. Yeah. The, the Mark, a... Mark II Guest Penced, not Mark I. I have a Reborn Gundam. I have a Leo sitting up there. And, um, mm -hmm. Star Winning Gundam been trying to put together a display of uh, Universal Century. Uh, ah. from, are we going like, to do the final boss with Straya? Or with who no, are we going to do, do it? With, gonna do it with Sinon. Yeah, she's the fastest, right? So we have yeah. to. He's been saving time using her. So if, we gonna... had, if we had somebody that used spears, I would use them for this upcoming fight. Because, because like if Sinon used spears? I think you already pressed on Yui. Uh, no, you don't actually get a choice here. Xenon... You have to take uh, Asuna here. Xenon shoots little spears out of her bow. Because yeah, I didn't, I like didn't get an They're just smaller, and there's more of them. Uh, that's true. Yeah. But spears are actually probably one of the most broken weapons in this game. They have the best scaling for their skills. And they, um... Because they scale off of all stat instead of, like, one or two stats. Yeah. Spears are really good in a lot of the games. Uh, so is this the final the boss? Yep. One of them, yep. There are three but fights. There are a few. Oh, there's three, okay. Uh, so sorry, three four. Fights. There are four fights here. Okay. Yeah, when you get to the point where you're gonna. Uh, when I'm fighting Heat Clip, you'll know. 
Yeah, 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 but what I'm saying is like a uh, countdown time basically and then say I'm really loud when it's about the video time. Yeah, that's all. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, what was, what was that thing? uh, yeah, spears are really good and they have the most amount of AoE skills in the game. Really? That's good. Yeah, they, ha they have the most amount of AoE skills in the game. How many do they have? I think like six. Whoa, that's actually a lot. Because everything else has two AoEs. Uh, not everything else. Uh, Scimitar, I think, has three AoEs. Not really. Yeah. I can't remember that. And I think Single Sword also has three. I'm curious which three, because horizontal I know. But I think a vertical also is. No, vertical is single enemy. Because it has high stun chance. Because I know I use horizontal a lot in my new game run because I was sword and shield. See, this is the reason why I would um, I would want a spear user, because there's a lot of enemies here. This is actually still fine, even with Katana yeah. or Dual Wheeling. Because most of them go after you. And even this... though they have decent health, they don't have really good moves to stun you. You say that and, and I just got two moves cancelled. <laughs> um, so did this game also come out before Nier Automata? I think it did. Uh, yeah. That's interesting. Random little observation, maybe a little less similarity than the Blood Wake Holy Blade thing, but it's just kind of funny. Yeah. If you've played that game, I don't want to say why. Because these look like Tubi's little sister. No, just... <laughs> well, they look like a. Actually, they look like a. Like a weird version of what's her face, uh, Elizabeth Bathory from Fate. Yeah. Uh, first glance, we're probably just gonna be playing a lot of that. Or rather, retiming runs for that. I think that's the last one. Almost the last one, or the last one. Oh, one more. I'm sad that you can't run Code Vein in this in the speedrun marathon. Yeah, it's I, not anime enough. Technically, nope. uh, it wasn't an anime first. I, I love Code Vein, uh, by the way. That's my favorite Souls game. It's a really Souls good life. one. Like, it's um, really good. I actually... Well, see, the thing is I hate it the normal way. I don't want to play with a partner and I don't want to level up. But play level one solo, it is the best Souls-like experience I've ever had by far. Because you can change your build at, like, literally any time, including mid-combat. And being level one doesn't lock you out of using any of the abilities. You just die in one hit from, like, everything from the third boss onwards, so... That's the, uh, that's the hard part. Yeah... The whole stream has some moves that, uh, can really get annoying, but... Is, this uh, boss is... to me just seems like the devs were down bad. <laughs> well, it's like a mix of Amaterasu from God Eater and, I mean... uh... Esther of the Ripcage from Code Game with maybe is why you mentioned that. Really? I mean, have you ever seen Spraya? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Don't Except she doesn't think. have backwards lights. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Also, I don't know her age, so I can't comment on her. She's an AI, doesn't matter. So she's like wanna... one. <laughs> I don't want to get into this conversation. That's not a, that we should not have this conversation. Yeah. I agree. But either way, uh, this is a very weird boss. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. A lot of stunts enough to uh, got me into red a few times. Any percent, but I don't think it should be a problem. For it shouldn't be. And after that, we can. It's the last boss. We can
I'm hoping Tenen comes comes back up before uh, before I have to fight Deep Blitz. Uh, yes, if you're nice, maybe not. Still. Alright. So here he comes, Heathcliff. This is the last Final. boss, so we're about to get time. Give me a minute. That time on, like, a particular yes. cutscene or him? No, it's blue when his when his HP is empty. Okay. Oh, when he marked us defeated, yeah. Well, he turned, like, blue like everything else. Yeah. Uh, no. No, right. No, because he congratulates you afterwards. Gotcha. Time. All right, I'm. Yay! All right, go fight. Yeah, go fight Yui. Yeah, Yuki, we can go. fight Yuki. Why not? Yeah, let's go fight Yuki. Why not? Hardest boss in the game. If she gets your mother's Rosario off, you're dead. Is she really the hardest boss? Yes. Huh. Because if, if your HP goes to half, you lose. Or oh. if she gets critical on Mother's Rosario, you also lose. I feel like you're overleveled enough that it's, it's still... Went... Oh, well, there you go. They didn't seem wrecked, bad. loser. Uh, so, we've got a little bit of time. So I figured I'd show you guys the actual hardest boss in the game. <laughs> that uh, makes sense. So we're going to click continue, and then we're going to go to the boss that they added with DLC. Uh, yep. So we go um, to the teleport gate, and then it's called Oblivion's Gatekeeper, which is the forgotten boss. Oh, it's Ludwig III. Yeah. We have uh, he Ludwig has the III. biggest health pool in the game. Uh, he is the only boss where uh, my arcane arcana skill will not just completely uh, undo an entire health bar. I mean, against the 99 floor boss, it also did not. Look at how low damage you're actually doing. Look at that. This is my strongest skill. A dent in his HP. A lot of yep. You just need to land like, you know, uh, 24 of them. Also, don't mention uh, paralysis and insane damage that it can do. Oh, of course. Ooh, I have to use cancelled. Here he's just showing his skill in uh, this game. Ifulu is showing his skill in this game. I don't think I ever fought this boss nor defeated it. Um, he's just really beefy. That's his really only like, and he, his furrowing blade can like do a lot of damage to you. Yeah, but you can parry it, so it's not really. But if you miss a parry, yeah, you're not yeah. able to parry for a while, it goes on cooldown. Um, so, like, you have to make sure you're hitting your parries, because actually hitting the parry will uh, cause you to regen the, the cooldown right away. Yep. But if he breaks your parry or you miss it, you're screwed up. Especially if he breaks it. I had I had a really good combo right at the start of this fight, and now I'm just I'm failing all of them. Yep, I'm sorry. You got it close though.
Uh, did I mention, by the way, that you get absolutely nothing for winning this fight? Of course. I mean, he doesn't he even drop an item. Why would the game reward you for doing something difficult? Yeah, like the, the best boss. Why would they reward you for beating the hardest boss in the game? Are you out of crystals? I, yeah, I used a couple of this run. You can only carry nine. Yes, sir. It's the bragging rights. Yeah, you get the bragging rights of, like, I beat up this health sponge for a solid 20 minutes. Yep. Or I died trying to. Because I'm you, getting you brag about <laughs> Dude, I played against the DLC in the lot. Damn, man. <laughs> played the DLC. <laughs> you played the free DLC, oh my god. Also, uh, my health is as low as it's ever been this entire run. No, 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 you've been in red, like, two times. Yeah, you you died to, uh, Rick. Yeah, but that was insta-kill, no, I didn't even get to no, red. No, no, but you also have been in red during a boss fight. Before. Oh, was I? Yep. Yeah, you killed him while being in red. For whatever reason. I don't know if there was another reflect meme in that fight. I assume no. so. No, you just hit him a few times. Pretty good in fact, but it was literally damage uh, rating. And the boss died earlier. Full force yellow! We're we doing it, we're making this happen. You're making records. Well, that already happened. Yeah. That was world record, by the way. Yep, by like four minutes, five minutes? Uh, longer. Yo. Your PB was, uh, five, six minutes. Yeah, it's, uh, better than the one practice PB that I did. And then, yep. uh... Six minutes faster. Yeah. Let's just say six minutes. Which I will need to post. I don't think I was recording this. So oh, I'll need no. to get the... I'll need to get the, uh... Are you recording? No. Nope. Never. Uh, so I'll need to get the VOD off It'll be easy. or something. Yeah. Shouldn't be a problem at all, I mean. Pretty easy. It's actually, like, extremely easy. Yeah, there's even a chance that it was faster than what's up there. So I kind of clicked that pretty delayed, to be honest. That's fine. <laughs> we like that. I'll retire, man. Uh, on, I've still got my timer, so... Alright. Oh, Not that I was... Oh, well. Inside realms. I am... I'm... Paralyzed, and I'm a lot of paralyzed aliens. But it's okay, well, he's not the... doing anything. Yeah, he couldn't do anything because you're in his belly. Uh, Should have stayed true. there. He would have been immortal. Full <laughs> healing crystal. And destroyed his core. Again. And you're paralyzed again. <laughs> Let's go. Cool. Paralysis memes. Looks like you got bleed on you, so. Yeah. Also, bleed on yourself. That doesn't matter. We're Rick, we don't care. We're yeah, one stack oh, bleed okay. is good. Rick can survive one stack bleed, but anything from two stack goes. Uh, is uh, a little scary. Because it outdoes his healing. And here I am paralyzed. Oh. 
Get right in. He's going insane. Oh, you're a replay boy. Oh, he's stuck. Oh, he's going crazy. He's stabbing. Yeah, that's his most annoying attack. Yep. And it did about half your HP. Supernova, so. Nope. I think you can with the bunkering thing, but then you need to have a shield. So it's not really. Also, triple bleeding. Attack off earlier. It's gonna be Cthulhu. Ooh. Not even close. that skill a lot more often near the end of the fight. Yeah, his head being, or her health being red probably helps him do it. Gives him that power he needs. I am um, exact sidestep would be... At this point, you can see that if um, you're about the same power, that's uh, using uh, skills, which are not sword skills, also uh, becomes uh, makes it easier. Because through the entire run, he just swept through everything. But here, he is still struggling. In China, you can still beat it without, but you're struggling way less. You can get player oh, skill. Uh... Oh, is everything on cooldown? There we go. That took nice longer than any other boss battle <laughs> of this one. Yeah. Congratulations. Uh, Congrats. But that's that's about everything this uh, this this part of the game has to offer. I'm not gonna touch the hollow area because. Oh, boss rush! Boss rush! Boss rush! No, no boss rush. <laughs> not solo boss rush. Because I don't All think right, we we don't have a new we don't have a new game plus category for that yet. Um, not really. I don't, uh, a shout out to everybody who watched. I hope you enjoyed uh, what we what we were doing there and how it went. Um, I, I'm just, I'm just glad to have been included, honestly. Awesome. What about you, son? You have any shoutouts? Yes, I have shout out to hashtag, uh, Rick ASF on Twitter. Make it most trending right now. <laughs> Let's see if we can do that. I doubt it. I doubt it, but I mean, we make can, it We can meme. hope. Yeah. We can pray. I'm trying to get up to my room so I can go back to the main menu, but uh, I'm not allowed, apparently. <laughs> yeah, I got like four different uh, cutscenes. 
All right. Yeah, that, that was a good run. You, you PB'd, right? Uh, or... Yep, and world record. World record. Let's go. Congrats. You should have three time it, but... Uh, what was the final time on your end? Uh, 4.23.58. Mine was 4.23.56. Okay, so... So it's not, not that far. It's, yeah, it's not that big of a difference. Mm-hmm. Um, thanks, everybody, for coming out and watching. Uh... Enjoy the rest of the runs and uh, support charity. Yep. Yeah. Yep. If you have time, I can actually talk about that real quick. Go for it. Um, Draw Change provides art based therapy to children in need. Children are naturally creative, but not every child has to express that due to being less fortunate. So, Draw Change gives them the outlet to express their creativity by providing them with art supplies and art based therapy instructions. The money raised to them will directly help um, provide supplies and such for these therapies and um, and for these like art sessions, classes uh, that will help these uh, children express themselves. Uh, we are also giving away game codes for anime games which, uh, on PS5 and PS4 to donors in this raffle. Special thanks to Bandai for providing these codes. For every five dollars you donate, you'll get one entrance in the raffle to have a chance to win these games. Make sure you provide your Twitch username in the donation comment uh, so we can give you these codes if, if you win. Uh, the games that are being given away are... DBZ, The Breakers for PS4. One Piece Odyssey, Deluxe Edition, PS4, PS5. SAO Isolation Lacrosis for PS4, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure All Star Battle R Deluxe Edition PS4, and Doraemon Story of Seasons PlayStation 4 Full Game. Be aware that you must be in the North American, Central American, or South American PlayStation Network accounts to redeem these games if you win the raffle drawing. You can find the donation link pinned in chat or by typing exclamation mark donate. So thank you. Thank you for your stream and thank you for doing your run. It was really, really cool. Uh, thank you for having me. Uh, I'm glad I got to participate. This is my first time ever doing anything like this. So it was it was nerve wracking for the last like week, but <laughs> no, uh, it, it was, was really cool. It was good. I'm, I'm glad we got there. I actually did better than I thought I would. So. <laughs> It uh, was fun. Next time, uh, I'll also maybe a race, same category. Maybe we'll see. Maybe we will see. Uh, All right. Well, I'm gonna transition out. Does anyone have any last, last, last words? Nope. Hey, cool. Rick is the best. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna transition out. One. Well, two, I guess. But maybe basically just one. Uh, He's a very stamina-hungry character for us, uh, so like even more than the normal.